What's going on, y'all? Good to see you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to another stream. Ah, oh, man. As you guys are coming in, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. I love you guys, man. Good to see you guys. All the supporters that's here, YouTube family. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Just trying something out. Life was showing me how to basically co-stream the TikTok lives, right? So instead of having um, having it seem like it's a call in, like just having the phone next to the microphone and it just be like that, you guys just hear the audio and it's just me. Life has a way of where he can stream TikTok and YouTube where he's still on the screen. You guys can see what I'm seeing on TikTok, like what we see on TikTok. You guys can see all of that, even the comments and stuff. And, uh, and, and, and like that. So I'm going to try that out today, but it's funny. Um, some Muslims on TikTok challenged me and they said they wanted to debate. So I was like, yeah, for sure. We could for sure get it going. Um, I sent them the link to this stream, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know where they are, but even if they don't show up here, it's it's all good because I can just go ahead and open up the live and we can have uh we can have people come in as usual. So we're gonna see, we're gonna try this thing on TikTok. We're gonna try this thing on TikTok and see how we can get this going. So uh man, let's see how it goes. Let's see. Let me set this up. Make sure you guys, as you guys are coming in, that you guys hit the like button. As you guys are coming in, let's see what kind of topic do I want to do? Let's see. What topic do I want to do today? Hmm. We got, did Jesus mention Muhammad? Nah. What is the Injil? Sounds like it, it could be fun, but I've done that a few times. Oh, I help the true Christians. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead. We'll, we could start off talking about this in geo. We could start off talking about what the Angel is. <laughs> Wyatt's here. What's up, Wyatt? We could start off talking about the Angel. And if I get bored of that, we can go ahead and switch that topic up. But yeah, we just freestyling today, really. <laughs> is Muhammad or Allah God? <laughs> That's a fun one. God bless everybody. God bless One Way Apologetics. Good to see you, man. So let's see. Let's see if I can get this going. Uh, let's see here. So I open up this thing. And... Streamcast. Let's see. Let's see how I do it. Let's see how you do it, life. All right. Okay. That's funny. Trying to set this up, y'all. Uh, thanks, 100. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Habibi. What's up, everybody on TikTok? Come on in. Um, so, if I... Oh, dang it. I need, I need these stupid headphones. Got 
Got to wear these bulky headphones just to make sure there's no echo in the sound. Fazlan Ahmed. Got to be on TikTok. Well, Fazlan, you can come up. I think uh, a little later. Got to wear these bulky headphones. Let me just test something. Let me test the sound. Make sure it's coming through. Just test something real quick. Okay. So I can hear. Bulky headphones. Look like a look like I'm DJ Rabbi. What is going on with my live? I should have had like 200 in here. I'm here, Dean. I'm here. I'm actually about to restart this live, guys. I think I might be shadow banned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this over. Oh well, no. Looks like it's it's going up. But yeah, usually it'll be at like 200 by now. It's taking too long to get up there. Okay, so now turn all this all the way down. And then I share the screen. What just happened? What the heck just happened? Oh, it's not letting me share the screen right now. What's what's going on, man? Why are they trying to play with me, man? Oh, there we go. All right, there it is. There it is. All right, so you guys can see what I can see on TikTok. Hopefully everybody, all the sound is perfectly fine and dandy. Hey, on TikTok, can you guys all hear me just fine? TikTok folks, can you guys just hear me just fine? Okay, that's dope, nice. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I could just have it like this and stream like this. Hmm. Not bad at all. Can you read my favorite hadith, Sahih Bukhari 278? Sure. Let's go ahead and read a hadith. Let's get the hadith this out. Sahih Bukhari 278. I want this to stay big, though. Say Bukhari 278. Oh, I can, I'll, I'll just have to switch when I share screens, I guess. That's fine. No worries. No worries. Sahih Bukhari 278. Let's see what they got. If you're a Muslim, you can join. Whosoever took a bath alone. <laughs> All right. Here's Sahih Bukhari 278, guys. The prophet said, the children of Israel used to take, used to take a bath naked, looking at each other. <laughs> the prophet Moses used to take a bath alone. They said, by Allah, 
Nothing prevents Moses from taking a bath with us except that he has a scrotal hernia. So once Moses went out to take a bath and put his clothes over a stone, and then that stone ran away with his clothes, Moses followed that stone saying, my clothes, O stone, my clothes, O stone, till the people of the children of Israel saw him and said, by Allah, Moses has got no defect in his body. Moses took his clothes and began to beat the stone. Abu Huraira added, by Allah, there are still six or seven marks present on the stone from that excessive beating. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a beautiful hadith. Really, really, really gets, gets going with my guidance. Beautiful hadith. <laughs> beautiful hadith. I have a question. I am a Baptistozy Christian. I've never seen that word before. And always have debates with Pentecostals and speaking slash praying in tongues. Can you explain the truth? Uh, speaking in tongues is a gift of the Holy Spirit. It's a sign of the Holy Spirit. One of the signs of the Holy Spirit, not the... But it's one. It's a gift that the Holy Spirit gives to a an individual um, when they're, you know, uh, when when they get filled with the Holy Spirit and stuff like that. And so, uh, it's not a necessity. Not every believer is going to be able to speak in tongues, speak in different languages, and then also be, have the interpreter. Uh, sometimes God will give you. The Bible says God will give them the gift of interpreting their own tongue. Sometimes, or they. May, God will give someone else the gift to interpret the language that they're speaking. So um, that's that. It's nothing too deep. People make it way deeper than, than it is. Hey, God Logic, what are the sources that say Muhammad can't be a black man and Muhammad sits on Allah's throne? Also, how reliable is Al Tabari and who is he? And can Muslims throw him under the bus? Okay, let's start backwards. No, Muslims cannot throw Al Tabari under the bus. Um, he is, uh, shoot, he is their best historian. I believe that's what they say that he's their he's the you know the best Islamic historian, and has one of the best uh, and most accepted tafsir of Islam. So no, they cannot reject Tabari at all. They can't. Um, I see you asked the source of Muhammad sitting on Allah's throne and him being a black man, or he can't be a black man. I don't have those sources on hand, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure, though, if you go like on Answering Islam, um, it'll be in it's like one of Sam's articles. Both of these will be in Sam's article. So if you go on Answering Islam, they have a bunch of that stuff. They have a bunch. How you doing? I'm pretty good, pretty good. Are you a Muslim? You're not knowledgeable? I do. I, I like to start off with my topics. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, so, just I guess what you understand. What what uh what is the NGO? Hold on one second. You guys are saying that you guys can't hear him. We can't. We can't hear him. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on just one second. Hmm, no sound. Am I missing something? Okay, there's sound on TikTok, but on YouTube, there's no sound. 
So that means that there's something that I'm, there's something that I'm, uh, I'm not doing. I need to figure this out. Hmm. Oh, I get it. I think this might be it. There we go. Okay. It'll work this time. All right. Nice. Go ahead and say something. How about now, guys? Can you hear him? Yes. No, they say yes. Talking to YouTube. I know I know TikTok can hear. I know TikTok, you guys can hear him. Okay, good. All right, we're on. We're all good now. Okay, yeah. So from, from your understanding, what, what would you say the NGL is? Uh, I think this is a book uh, which Allah gave to Isa alayhi salam. Okay, okay, okay. And do you like, uh, are you of the opinion that we don't have the NGL today? Uh, yeah, I think so. And why is that? What? Why is that? Why, why do you believe that we don't have the NGL today? Uh, because I think the uh, Bible doesn't uh, match with the uh, Quran. That doesn't mean it's not the NGL. But uh, you know, in Bible, a lot of paper, uh, places we see Isa al Islam, but we say shirk. He do he doing uh, like he's uh, with God, like he mm -hmm. says, me and God is one. You know this thing, and in Islam, yeah. this is not allowed. And Quran says that uh, Isa was pure from this thing. What they say shirk and this thing. That's true. That's true. That's true. So when we see in, in Bible, so I think this is uh, didn't match with Quran. That's why. So wouldn't that mean that? uh it would would it would just mean that the quran just goes against the injil it doesn't mean that it, what we have is not the injil it would just mean that the quran contradicts the injil mm. yeah from 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 your perspective maybe yes but you know for me the authority is quran so okay so okay that's 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 fair i understand that authority is your, is the quran but from the quran it tells me as a as a Christian, that my authority is the gospel. So what are we supposed to do like with me and you? If your authority is the Quran, and the Quran tells me that my authority is the is the gospel, the Injil, what am I supposed to but do? I think, but, but I think first Quran says you to become Muslim. But to those who reject the uh, Prophet Muhammad and Quran, for them, okay, they can uh, take as Bible as authority. Wait, say, say that one more time. What, what about becoming Muslim? I think first, first of all, Allah's, Allah, uh, Allah says in Quran that you guys uh, invite you to Islam, come to Islam and become Muslim. But mm. those who reject, who don't want to be, they can, uh, they, they can then judge by gospel and these things. Uh, I see. <laughs> okay, so, so I don't have to become a Muslim. I can stick to my Injil and I'm good? Uh, no, but uh, first of all, you have to become Muslim. But uh, if, if you're not becoming Muslim, you reject uh, Prophet Muhammad, then you can uh, stick. It's uh, better than uh, be with nothing. I think. I, I don't know, brother. I'm just uh, giving an answer from my mind. I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah I, don't, I don't think that's... I don't think that that's all the way true. But, you know, you, you, um, <laughs> it, is, it is interesting what you're saying. If, if I'm supposed to judge by the gospel... If my authority is the NGO, the gospel, then I have to, uh, I have to, uh, you know. You have to believe that Jesus is good. Yeah. yeah and I have to reject the, the Quran. Is it, is it possible that you can like maybe speak a little louder or maybe turn your mic up or are, are you using headphones? Uh, wait, is no better? Uh, well, for me, I can hear you because I, I have like direct headphones on, but. The audience, uh, they're saying it's a little quiet on your end. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, it's just on speaker. But okay. if you want, I can use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's that's better. Yeah. When you speak like that, that's much better. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, so yeah, man. I mean, yeah. So, if, if I judge by the, the gospel, the Injil, I have to believe that Jesus is God and that the Quran is, is a false book, you know? 
Yeah, yeah. According uh, from your perspective, yes. Yeah, but it's it's not just from my perspective. Like, like that's what the Quran tells me. You know, the Quran tells me. It says, "Let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed in it." And so, yes, I have to do that. Yeah, yeah, like this, yes. But uh, I think, uh, like, first of all, you know what Quran says: become Muslim, accept Prophet Muhammad, and accept Quran is the book from Allah. And uh, and that, that, then, if if the people who who accept, okay, they are Muslim. But those who reject, okay, they can judge their things by gospel. I think maybe punishments or these things, maybe I, I don't know. Yeah, that they're, they're not supposed the the Christians and the Jews they're not they're not told that they have to become Muslims. They're they're told that they have to believe in all of the revelations, right? The Torah, the the Gospel, uh, and the Quran. They're supposed to believe in it all, but the laws that are that they have to follow are in their own particular books. Like so, the Jews they have to follow the Torah still, even if, even when the Quran came, they have to follow the Torah. Uh, yes. And when the Christians, they have to follow the the gospel, even with the Quran, and with the Muslims, they have to follow the Quran. But they ha they all groups have to believe that all books are true, you know. Yes. So, but here's the, the here's the dilemma with this. The problem is when you do this, when you go into the Torah and the gospel. And you see what they teach. You see that they that the Quran actually goes against what the Torah and the Gospel teaches, obviously. And so they can't they can't you know both be true. It's either like, and this is the problem too, because the Quran says that these books are true. If they're false, then the Quran is false, since it says that they're true. Now, I it, yeah, go ahead. Yes. So, so sorry to interrupt you, but th th that's why I say that uh, we don't have Injil today. Why? Why is that? That's why I say because uh, for us, uh, Quran is the you know authority, all this thing. And when uh, Quran claims this thing is there, and we found, don't found it there, then uh, we can say that uh, those books are corrupted. But that doesn't mean that those books are corrupted. It just means that the Quran is wrong. Uh, but the Quran have, uh, you know, uh, we, we take Quran as authority over other books, other scriptures. But the Quran doesn't tell you to do that. I think the uh, Quran says that uh, uh, this book have authority over previous scripture or... And, uh, nope. Something it, like it, it never says that. It says <laughs> it says that the, that the Quran is a guardian of the previous scriptures. It says it's a guardian. It doesn't say that it's an authority over them, that it judges what is right and wrong in them. It doesn't okay. say that. I, I I don't know why. I had I have to check it. It's, it's chapter five, Surah Maida, uh, verse forty-eight. It says that it is yeah, a Muhammad. Muhammad, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's a guardian. Yeah, I I know there is one place Allah says it is guardian, but I I think so. Maybe I'm I'm not sure that Allah also says that uh, this book have a, a authority over previous scripture, something like this. I think it is in Surah Bakra. I yeah. No. Nope, no. Nope, no way. There's nowhere in the Quran where it says this, brother. Trust me. There's nowhere in the Quran where it says that the Quran is an authority over the over the scripture over the previous scriptures. And in yeah. fact, it's 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 kind of the opposite. It's it's the opposite. Like the Quran. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Sorry, but if I found it, uh, then uh, would this be enough that this book have authority over the scriptures? Well, I mean that if I that, that, that if you if that if a verse said that then. You know that's what the Quran says. It doesn't to me. It wouldn't make it true, but I'm just saying the but Quran. The Quran doesn't even say that. I can stand on a better place, right? Let say, me say, take. Say. Let's go. Okay, yeah, no worries. You can take your time. All right. So he's going to look for that verse really quick to see if the Quran says that it is an authority over. The, the previous scriptures, guys. So if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you guys that came in, make sure you guys hit the like button. Uh, a series says, we really enjoy, really enjoying all these lives. Love from the UK. Awesome. I'm going to be in the UK really soon. So uh, that's dope, man. That's dope. We're going to be out there pretty soon. Love from the US as well. Okay. Um, so someone asked, how can I know that Christ is in my heart 
and that I will enter heaven when I die. Well, it's, it's, it's really simple. When you come to Christ, um, everything changes. Your old appetite for sin changes. Uh, your old desires change and they begin to align with the will of God, with the will of Christ. And so you begin to see things and desire things differently. Um, everything that you do and think begins to line up with the kingdom, begins to line up with the character of Christ. And so that is how you'll know that you have Christ in your heart is when you start desiring things that Christ wants for you and that Christ wants. Um, and secondly, uh, how will you know that you will enter heaven when you die? Well, it's simple. Um, Christ says, you believe in God, believe also in me. Uh, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you that I will come and take you to myself, that I've prepared a place for you. He says, whoever comes to me, I will never turn away. I won't forsake you. So you come to Christ and you are in Christ and you remain in Christ. Uh, when you die, you are assured heaven. You have salvation, period. That's the assurity of Christianity. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. While 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 this brother is waiting to to find that verse, thank you I guys. Think, I think I found the same one from uh, uh, Surah Al Maida, chapter says, forty-eight. We have revealed to you this book with truth as a confirmation of previous scriptures mm -hmm. and a supreme authority on them. Yeah. So the word I know that you read in an English translation, the word is Mahayman. It doesn't mean supreme authority. It means guardian. Um, The word is Mahayman, which yeah, means guard. Yeah, yeah. It, it is uh, when I go to when I check uh, it word by word, it says uh, and a guardian. Yeah, on, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's like that's more so the the commentator or the interpreter or the translator putting their own theology in there, trying to say supreme authority when that's not what that is. It's not what it means. Yeah, yeah. A lot of time uh, they they bring different words. I, I know this. Yeah. So that, that's what I said. And this, this was actually the verse that I quoted. Like a lot of people, they'll, they'll quote this verse thinking that, yeah, it says that the Quran is, a, is an authority over the previous scriptures. But no, that's, that's not what it says. And shame on this translator for translating it this way because it misleads a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, it is so. Yeah. So with that being said, the, you know, you're, you're not supposed to use the Quran as a judge over the previous scriptures, bro. You're not supposed to do that. It's not, that's not what the, the Quran says that it came confirming what came before it. It means that it, that the Quran itself lines up with what came before it. Now, if I were to ask you, how would you test that? How would you test to see if indeed the Quran lines up or confirms what came before it? What would you do? How, how would you test that? Because the Quran is a guardian, like protector of previous scriptures, that it uh, it will show you that uh, which things has been corrupted in them and which are not. But no, so that's maybe not, we can put them side by side and we can see which things matter. Nope, not a, not a, no. That's not what that is again. Because again, you're trying to use the word guardian as a in a in a sense of criterion over the scriptures. No, the Quran is not a criteria over the previous scriptures of what the scriptures say. That's not what it is. It's a guardian or a witness to it, that it's true. So what do you do? You take the meaning like if it says this is a guardian of a previous scripture, what does it mean? So, so that, it, that it means that it's a witness to the scripture. It, it testifies that the scripture is true and that these and that the Jews and the Christians should follow their scriptures. They should stop doing their own things and following their own vain desires. They should submit to what God has revealed in their scriptures. That's that's what the Quran, all throughout the Quran, not just here, but all throughout the Quran, when it mentions this, it, it says the same thing, you know? But uh, guardian is something like protector, you know? He protects, guards something from uh, from evil, a guardian something. Yeah, yeah and, a wit and it's a guardian, it's a witness. So it guards, it guards and is a witness to the truth of the scripture. It's, it, it, it you know, points to its truth. It doesn't judge or say what's true and what's not. All it does is witness to it. It's a, it, it protects it, you know? Mm -hmm. So it, it's not going to say, uh, hey, 
I I I say what is what is right in the previous scriptures and what is wrong in the previous scriptures. That's not what it does. It corrects the people who misinterpret the previous scriptures. That's what it does. But the scriptures yeah, but, itself is good. Yes, but I I, I think that uh, uh, he cannot uh, Quran cannot tell that uh, this thing is wrong in Torah. I don't believe this thing. Mm -hmm. it, the Quran tells which thing is Torah and which thing is not Torah, which is which is Torah or Injil and which is uh, an addition from people. Mm -hmm. I, I think this has a meaning from this uh, from this uh, guardian that uh, it protects the original scripture and all these uh, all these things which people have added into it. The, it uh, it uh, says those are corrupted. Okay. It, it don't say that I but I take as a meaning from it. Okay. So if we were to go with this, then that the Quran is a guardian of the scriptures, like it guards against false, like things that people say, right? So it's 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 already acknowledging that the scriptures are true, right? Yeah, I, I, original Torah and Injil, yes, hundred percent. But not, but no, there is no, there is no such thing in the Quran as an original Torah or an Injil or a fabricated yeah, one. Yeah. To, to, Torah and uh, Injil is original. It, there is no doubt in it. Quran cannot tell this is good Torah, this is wrong Torah. Torah is uh, the yeah. truth. Injil is the truth. Right. But the addition people have added into it. That's what we believe is uh, so. We don't believe there are two Torah, right and wrong one. There's only one Torah which is right, but there are is people who try to change it. That's what I believe. Right. Okay. So, so if that's the case, then uh, was the Torah and the Gospel successfully changed? Uh, what do you mean by that? Was it changed at all? Uh, yes, I, I, I believe uh, we don't have it today. Okay, we, uh, so so that's and that, and that's the problem. So when the Quran says that it is, they're confirming the scriptures. It, are the scriptures there, or is it just confirming things that are invisible and disappeared? Uh, I, I believe that the uh, Quran is confirming. So I, I, I take meaning as the, from this ayah that uh, all the things which Quran is confirming. Uh, for example, I give that uh, Torah also says that uh, Moses split the sea and Quran also says that Moses split the sea. So Quran is kind of confirming them. Okay. So those so, things which Quran confirms, I take this meaning. I could be wrong. Allah alam. But, but, but that's, that's going back again saying, oh, whatever the Quran says, is it determines what is true in the previous scriptures again your quran does not say that it does that uh, no quran doesn't say in previous scripture uh those, those things which quran is confirming they are previous scripture the quran never says that it doesn't say whatever the quran confirms is previous scripture it says that the quran is just simply confirming the previous scripture that is there uh, yes the quran uh, says like you know we take previous scripture is torah right yeah, and in uh, Torah and Injil. Yeah, so Quran is telling what Injil is. I no, it doesn't. Quran, the Quran, the Quran doesn't. Allah says, uh, we we give a revelation to Isa, and it is uh, Injil, right? Sometimes you you know better than me. Yeah. So that well, this is my problem when because the Quran doesn't tell you what the Injil is. This is why I have <laughs> this is why I have this question: What is the Injil? Because the Quran doesn't mm -hmm. exactly tell you. It, it it knows it's the gospel, but it doesn't tell you what exactly it is or what Jesus taught in the gospel in the NGO. So uh, when, when we're asking, when we're talking about, you know, the previous scriptures, the Quran, it says that it confirms the previous scriptures, period. It doesn't say that it confirms part of it that's there and some of it not. It doesn't say that it, it confirms whatever lines up with the Quran. It never says that. It says the Quran came confirming what is already there, period. Uh, but Quran, uh, Quran is saying the previous scripture. What uh, uh, is what we are referring? Previous scripture which were revealed from God, right? That's, uh, as that's yeah. yeah, that's what the Quran uh, says. So, yeah. so uh, Quran is confirming the previous scripture, not uh, like uh, all this thing which uh, has been uh, put by man into it. What do you mean? What 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 things that have? Okay, okay. So this this is where this is why this this subject is so. It's 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 a problem for Muslims. It really is, because when you say man has put into the Torah and the Gospel, can anyone change the words of Allah? 
I, I think, uh, I don't know, I, I can cite the reference. I think it says in Quran that uh, those people who write scripture by their hand and claim this is from God, well, did, they are did, something. Didn't people write the, write the Quran with their own hands? No, 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 they say people write the scripture from there and then claim this is from God. All right, so, that, means, right, so that means that, so they're writing fake books, right? It's They're not changing the scripture, but they're writing their own fake books claiming that it's from God, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that means that the Torah and the gospel are still intact. They're not messed with. It's just people that make up their own fake books and they claim that these fake books that they've made are from God. Uh, yes, I, I, I believe this thing uh, that the uh, Bible and Torah, they are written by men and they claim this is well, from... The, uh, well, the, okay, so, so yeah. if we're going with that logic, the Torah, the Bible, the Torah and the gospel is written by man. Wasn't the Quran written by men? Uh, yes, yes, for sure. Don't didn't didn't these men claim that what they were writing is from God? Yes. All right. So it's in the same boat as the Torah and the Gospel. Both the Torah, the Gospel, and the Quran. I said both. <laughs> All the Torah, the Gospel, and the Quran were written by men, and these men claimed that these writings were from God. So we're in the same but, boat. Uh, yes. Yeah, but the uh, Quran says that uh, Allah is gonna protect this reminder. Ah, very good. I like uh, I like you, man. Allah said that He's going to protect the reminder. Do you know what the Quran says the reminder is? I think uh, Quran refers different things about reminder. Mm. One is uh, one is uh, a revelation. I, I, I think uh, in one place it also says uh, what does this? We give Musa a reminder, yeah. They they use mm -hmm. same word. I was also yes. on the live, uh, live of Christian, and they also bring it out. And first time I see this thing, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, that's why I so time. so that's yeah, very so, so you know that's good. Yes. Then he said me how I know which reminder Allah is talking about. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So so you know that the Quran calls us the people of the book. It calls us the people of the reminder, right? Uh, Ahlul Kitab. Yeah, chapter chapter sixteen. You go to chapter sixteen. Let me uh, see if I can get the name of the chapter for you. <clears throat> uh, so chapter sixteen is a uh, chapter uh, An Nahl. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The B, um, verse forty three. Verse forty three. Yes. We did not send before you other than men whom we inspired with revelation. So ask the people uh, of reminder of reminder if you do not know. Mm -hmm. So Allah's giving Muhammad revelation, right? And he tells Muhammad, you know, if if you do not know, basically, if you're doubting what we're saying, what we're what we are revealing to you, go and ask the people of the reminder. And they'll confirm it. That's us. That's the Jews and the Christians. Yes. So if Allah says that he promises to guard and protect the reminder, that means that he promises to guard and protect the Torah and the gospel. But, uh, you know, uh, where Allah says this thing, uh, when I, I listen this thing from uh, some Christians, I go and I check. But when, uh, when I start reading it in context, it mm -hmm. was clear in the starting of, it was like, 12th ayah of the surah and from the starting of surah it is talking about quran and then it goes on goes on then he says we will protect this reminder well this is what it says it's chapter 15 verse 9 it says indeed it is we who sent down uh the reminder and indeed we will be its guardian we go to the next verse and we had and we had certainly sent messengers before you among the sex of the former peoples yes. and no messenger oh. will come to them except that they ridiculed them. So it begins to talk about messengers before Muhammad. Uh, yes. Yes. But uh, we all have sent down the zikr and we are protector over it. Mm -hmm. And we did not send before you, um, uh, before you, I think, uh, wait, wait, when we start the surah, you know what the first ayah says? Wait. Let me read this. Alif Lam Mim. These are the wor verses of the book and the enlightening Quran. Quran. And in Arabic, the word is also used Quran. Mm. So when we, we read whole in context, it goes 
all about Quran and about Prophet Muhammad. People call him uh, Majnoon, like a uh, crazy man, but he is not indeed. And then he, at the end, Allah says that he has uh, revealed the, the reminder and he will, is protecting it. So when we read it in context, I believe it's talk about the Quran. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I think that you can argue that the Quran is included, but I don't, I don't think that from the context you can um, negate the other scriptures because in the context, it's talking about things that are not per, uh, not just yeah, for the Quran. I, I it's, it's like, uh, nine verses. I, yeah. Should I read? Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm look. No, no, it's, it's okay. Like we, we're, we're here. Um, it's, it, you know, the context talks about other things that are not in the Quran, right? Like verse four talks about we just we did not destroy any city, but that it, for it was a known decree. It's talking about stuff before the Quran. I think maybe we should read. It's better we can get the context. Okay, if you, want, if you want to read, go ahead. These are the verses of the book, the enlightening Quran. On many occasions, disbeliever will wish that they were Muslims. Uh, let them eat and enjoy and let uh, a fancy make them neglectful, for they shall soon come to know. We did not destroy any town without having a predetermined time for it. No people can precede their appointed time, nor they can exceed it. They say, O oh, to whom, O oh, oh, you, O oh, you, uh, to whom the zikr, the zikr has been revealed, you are surely insane. Why do you not bring the angel to us if you are not of the truthful? Do no, uh, we do not send down angel except with the truth, and then they shall be given no respite. We ourselves have sent down the zikr, and we are the protector over it. So when we go to ayah six, uh, ayah six, uh, five and six, it's clearly talking about the zikr which is given to Prophet Muhammad. But then it continues. Yeah. It continues to talk about the reminder, right? How he guards the reminder, and then right after that says, "And we had certainly sent messengers before you among the sex of peoples, and we know that yeah. they also have reminders." So uh, I, the, I, I would I would I would argue that the reminder contains all of Allah's revelations, not just the Quran, even in this context. Uh, but, yes, but when we go after the, the the last discussion about Prophet Muhammad and the zikr, which they says uh, they mock, mm. uh, this is finished, and then later a new topic is started. We did not send uh, before you among people, but in the in uh, next they talk nothing about the about the zikr it's only talk about messenger and not all messenger uh, uh, bring a book with them you know we have a uh, 120 24000 messenger uh, 100000 messengers and not all of them br bring uh, the book i, I was so told I, that i was told that messengers come with the book but prophets don't and, ah okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i think I, I think so yeah you mm. hear the word is used uh, before you we have sent I don't know which word they translated as messenger. He is not a Rasul yeah. or not right. Yeah, like, mess uh, yeah, messenger is not even in the in the text. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's see. And certainly we had sent before you in the sex of former people. Yeah, it doesn't even say messengers. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's why I'm uh, I'm trying to learn Arabic that I can understand why scripture better. Oh, okay. So, so verse verse eleven says it. Yeah, verse eleven says it. These messengers came to them and they mocked them. Yeah, I believe that Rasul they bring book. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So like I would argue that uh, if Allah protects the reminder, um, I would I would argue that the reminder contains all of His scripture. Uh, and uh, I, I I take this as uh, this reminder because you know when we go in the context is only talking about Prophet Muhammad and people mocking him. But it doesn't say this reminder. It says the reminder. The, the reminder, but but uh, in the context, the first ayah of the of the uh, of the surah, it's all talking about Quran, and later all the thing which happening with Prophet Muhammad, and then. Uh, uh, is people asking why don't the people who are asking for sign why don't we see the angel coming down and then Allah say we don't send them except truth and other things and then He said we send down the zikr and we are there there to protect it. Well, that's fine. So it looks like we have uh, two different views on this. I don't want to get stuck here. So you do believe that God's words can be changed, just not the Quran. Uh, I believe God's words cannot be changed, but they could be lost. 
Okay, so you don't believe that the Torah and the gospel was changed, you just believe that they were lost? Uh, yeah, I believe we don't have them right now. The book, uh, we, uh, you, uh, we have a uh, Bible. I think this book have quotation from uh, original scripture. Torah have quotation from original scripture, but we don't have the original. Yeah, when, 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 did, when did it get lost? Mm, I, I, I don't know. Uh, mm. Right now, what, what I read, what we have right now, uh, and uh, I see it, it doesn't match with Quran, and my belief is all the thing uh, uh, in the in the original scripture which Allah revealed, they are uh, exactly same as Quran. It, okay. it is not uh, contradict with Quran. I think. So and, so uh, all right. So how about this? Would, would it would it be? Do you think that this would be a consistent and smart position to have? If I said uh, the, the the original Quran has been lost, you don't have the the original Quran. Um, because what you have now contradicts the Torah and the gospel that I have, it contradicts the Bible. Um, according, uh, uh, according to your belief, yeah, it's it's perfect. You, you guys can say this thing, but according to my belief, no, that's, that doesn't that doesn't mean that you don't have the Quran. That, uh, that, yes, that but, uh, that's I mean, not what that means, bro. Yeah, but the uh, Quran says uh, we are gonna protect this uh, the zikr. I know what you believe, but I'm just like listen to the argument that you're making. You're saying that because the book that you have, um, you're talking like, you know, you have the Quran and you're saying because the Bible disagrees with the Quran, then therefore that's not the original Bible because it contradicts and disagrees with what the Quran says. That's not what that means. Just like it wouldn't mean that you don't have the original Quran simply because it disagrees with my Bible. That that doesn't make sense. Do you 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 you, you get the point? Yeah, I understand. You can also say that uh, uh, your Quran doesn't uh, uh, fits with our Bible. Yeah, and right? so that and so therefore your Bible's your or your Quran's been corrupted. No, that that's that's not what that means. It just simply means that the Quran, it could be it could be completely uncorrupted. It can be completely uh, preserved, but it still contradicts the Bible. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that it's not the Quran. Uh, yes, uh, the same thing, but but I don't believe that the uh, Bible is the word of God. I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, neither do uh, I believe about the Quran. Quran. Neither do I believe the Quran is the word of God. What yeah, is that? How does that help that's us? The that's the problem. First, you have to, uh, for example, I give you an example. Uh, uh, a Hindu from India, he brings his, uh, he, they have a scripture, uh, they name it Gita. They think it is uh, God's book or something like this. <laughs> and uh, he, he can say this, the same thing. He said uh, that the, the, the Gita didn't uh, fit with the, the Bible, so I'm not gonna believe in it because it was revealed before it. Uh, according to your belief, I'm a, a different belief. But uh, when you are gonna accept it, then you have to accept it. Like as Muslim, we accept the final prophet. Yes. Yeah, so how how, uh, how is that? How is that? Con like I, look, because I'm not here just to simply talk about just what we believe, you know, relatively to to ourselves subjectively, and and then that's it. I'm here to talk about what is true factually and and what is true logically. That's what, yeah. that's what I'm here for. So it doesn't does it does it logically follow that since your Quran does not agree with my Bible that I can say that your that your Quran is not the original Quran it's it's been corrupted? Is does that logically follow that? Yeah, you you could say this thing. Yes, you can say this. Thing. But does that I know I can say it. I can claim it. Does it logically follow though? Uh If you if you um, no, because uh, because uh, Bible was revealed before Quran. Uh, but Injil was revealed before Quran, and uh, you believe that Bible this was revealed before Quran. I I think I'm not understanding what you're saying. Maybe okay. If I have a if I have a new book, let's say I just wrote a book today, and yes. I said, uh, you know, I I said things in it, and then I said, oh, your Quran disagrees with my new book that I just wrote. Therefore, mm -hmm. your Quran is corrupted. It's not the original Quran. You have the wrong Quran. Does that logically follow? Yeah, now you give a good example. Now I understand what you are trying to say. Uh, then you have to then you have to uh, give give proof that uh, it is corrupted. There you go. You have to give proof that it's corrupted. Just because your Quran disagrees with my new book doesn't mean that your Quran has been changed or altered in some way. I have to get it just means that it just contradicts what I have. What I have to do if I say that your that your Quran is corrupted, I have to then give evidence that your Quran used to say one thing but now says another. 
You know what I'm saying? That it, it yeah. used to have one particular message, but now that message is gone. Now this is this has been interpolated, and you know yeah, that no, I you understand? Yeah, no, no, I understand what you're trying to say. But uh, when we when we get uh, the revelation Quran, we see sign and we we confirm it. This is from God, and we accept it. And then all the things this scripture is gonna say, we are gonna believe it. That if this this scripture says that uh, in this scripture Allah says I'm gonna protect it, so we are hundred percent. We cannot doubt it in this thing. Then. Uh, we have to accept it. If uh, today a new, uh, we, we don't believe some uh, new revelation or new prophet can come, but if, uh, for example, a new prophet come with a new book, he gives signs, he prove it 100% uh, uh, that uh, this book is from God, and then, then our criteria is going to change to that book. But right now, our final book is Quran. So Quran is yeah. saying uh, we are going to protect, Allah is saying we are going to protect it. So that's our 100% belief. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's your belief. But your again, your belief really doesn't hold weight in this conversation. Like, neither does mine. We're not, yeah. we're not weighing beliefs here. We're weighing logic and facts. So you can believe that this is the word of God. And so therefore, I believe everything that's said in it. That's fine. But we're testing this stuff right now. We're in, we're evaluating it to see if it actually is consistent and true. So you can't have where the Quran, this is this is where the problem is. Where the Quran that you're saying is the is the word of God, you're said the Quran says that it came confirming the scriptures that came before it. But at the same time, you guys want to tell us that, oh, well, the, the scriptures that came before it is lost, it's gone. Well, well, how do you know that? Oh, because the previous scripture or the scripture that you have contradicts the Quran. So therefore, it must have been changed. That does not logically follow. Just like it wouldn't logically follow if I have my new book and I say it confirms your Quran, but your Quran contradicts my new book and therefore your Quran's been changed. That, that doesn't, that does not logically follow. So we're, yes, we're testing this stuff. Yeah, I understand. So I give you a scenario. Okay. Uh, right now, uh, a, a prophet of God came to you. He, he he brings you book, everything, all the signs. You believe he's prophet of God. He gives you a book, and uh, that book uh, take Quran out of it. You are you as Christian now. You became that religion, whatever it is. You believe in that book. All this thing. That book is saying this book is confirmed. You have seen all the signs. You know this is the word of God, uncorrupted. All these things, and uh, then uh, this book. Uh, that book is saying we are confirming Bible. We are confirming Torah. And then you find find out this, this that book is contradicting with the Torah and Quran, uh, Torah and uh, 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 Injil Bible. Uh, what mm. you are gonna do there? I'm going to what? I'm going to now reevaluate everything that I believed about this current book. Because if it's said that it confirms these, these books, yet when I go and I check to see if it confirms these books and it doesn't, then I have to throw away this book that I used to believe in because it lied. It's not telling the truth. But then you have to prove that those books which you have, are, are, are they uh, actually from God? Are they, and are, are they the, actually the book what uh, this book is talking about? Well, so that would, that would be the problem because if my book says these books, it confirms, these books are true. If those books are not from God, then my book that said that they were from God is still false since it lied saying that those books were from God. It's a, it's a double-edged sword. If these yeah, books but... are not from God, then my book is false for saying they are. If those books are from God and they contradict my book, then my book is still false since they contradict those books that are the word of God. You, you are going to say, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what to say here because uh, I, I think that uh, for me, I have seen signs, all these things. I take this book as... Uh, as as over all the book in the world so and this book also says this is a guardian over previous scripture so it is gonna protect it so there is some harm to that those book that's why this is gonna protect it and gonna tell us what is from god and what is not from god and uh, this has been uh, from our our early scholars they also have said this thing if you are gonna judge you are gonna find out what is the word of god and what not you have to put quran with it you have well, to well, I, well actually uh, actually there so you do have scholars that say that you also have early scholars like ibn Kayyim, who was a student of ibn tamiya who mm -hmm. held another view and uh mentioned groups that held the other view 
I think they are not early scholar. I think uh, there's a uh, 600 uh, years of difference between them and Prophet Muhammad. Well, they no. So what, what is an early scholar to you? Because if you're talking about early scholars, if we go to Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas doesn't say that you need the Quran to tell what's true or not in the previous scripture. He actually says that the Torah and the gospel remain as Allah revealed them and no words have been added or taken away from them. Uh, uh, if, where, where he says this thing, Ibn Abbas? It's in Abu Qari. So if you go to, uh, if you were to go to uh, Ibn Kathir's tafsir. Ibn Kathir. Yeah. Ibn Kathir, uh, it's in Bukhari or where it is? Well, he's quoting Bukhari. Ibn Kathir quotes Bukhari. It, it's in Bukhari, um, but I don't have like direct access ah, to that specific hadith anymore. Uh, which ayah is tafsir I have to open? It's chapter three. Chapter three. Verse 78. 78. Okay. Yes, I'm going to open it. Yeah, Ibn Kathir. And uh, from where I can start reading? Uh, yeah, it's here. Uh, uh, Al-Bukhari reported that Ibn Abbas said that the ayah means they alter and add through none among Allah's creation can remove the word of Allah from his book. They alter and destroy, uh, distort their ap apparent meaning. Mm -hmm. uh, Wahab ibn Mun Munabih mm -hmm. said that uh, the Torah and Injil remain as Allah revealed them, and no letter in them was removed. However, the people misguide uh, other by adding and addition, addition, and fall interpretation. They rely on book that they wrote themselves elf then themselves yep so so you see how ibn abbas says that no none of allah's words can be taken from his books but they only distort the meanings that are in his books they they misinterpret them not that they actually change the words that's in them but they just lie about them but or misinterpret them okay. right but it says also that they wrote themselves. Right, that they rely on the books. Addition. Yeah, yeah. The, they're they're, adding, they don't, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. They're add they're adding false interpretation and by re relying on books that they wrote themselves. So the actual Torah and the gospel, right, and the previous scriptures, they cannot be changed, they cannot be added to or taken away from. But yes. what they do is is that they make false books, they make fake books that they say is from God. So the Torah and the gospel are untouched. They're not manipulated in any way. They're just misinterpreted. And then other people make up their own fake books. Okay. Yeah. So it says the people misguide other by adding addition and false interpretation. Mm -hmm. Addition. How? Addition. The, the, that This is saying it, it's written there. And however, the people misguide other by addition and false interpretation, rely mm -hmm. on book that they wrote themselves. There and it is. There that's it is. also my view that the uh, Torah and the uh, Injil, they are untouched, but people add into it. And those books, now we don't have them. No, right the, the only thing that they're adding is false interpretation. They're not actually adding to the text of the Torah and the gospel. You see how he says, the Torah and the Injil remain as Allah revealed them, and no letter in them was removed. removed. Right. So he, then he can, so he continues. So wait, wait. Let's let's make sure we understand his first point. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Right. We understand. Was removed. Right. Yes. So then he says, however, the people misguide others by addition and false interpretation. How? Relying on books that they wrote themselves. So what's the addition and false interpretation? F these fake books that they write themselves. Okay, so could we say that uh, uh, I don't want to uh, 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 like be disrespectful, but uh, could we say that uh, Bible are those false interpretation and we don't have Injil and Torah with us? Well, no, because the, we have the Torah and the gospel. We have the Torah and the gospel. We have everything, everything that was there that the Quran says it confirms. Like, for example, the Quran said that it came confirming everything that is with them already, that is already with them. The Jews and the Christians. Yeah, it's confirming uh, what, what is with them, right? Yes. Right, right. Yes. So what is we we have what is with them? The Torah, yeah, Genesis, but, uh, Genesis, it's, it's, Genesis through Deuteronomy. We already we have that. The gospel, we have that. The Psalms, we have that. Yes, but uh, that that's your claim. You have that. Well, I mean, 
if you're saying that we don't, you have to prove me otherwise. Because uh, remember, I, I I don't have study. I I I something. I just watch small clips. I don't go watch debates and this thing. But mm. uh, you know, they are they are proving like uh, for bringing this old script that have this thing, but they don't have. I I I don't know how personally, but but I, I if I study, I I watch things and they are like. Uh, some uh, atheist I was watching and he was, I don't know, with some Christian and he was proving that it's uh, changed. And I think also uh, one guy, I don't know, his name Jay. I think his name is Jay. He's like an old guy. Jay he Smith? Also said, yeah, I think so, he guy. He he have a French beard and he says that uh, that the Bible is corrupted. We, do, we don't claim that Bible is uh, in its original form. Yeah no, yeah, no, he doesn't say that the Bible is corrupted. What he's talking about is textual variants textual variants that are within the manuscript that do not change the message of the scripture. See, we have a different idea of preservation than you do. We, we, when it comes to preservation, we believe that the scriptures are preserved and that they, the message ha is always consistent. It's the same. Even if there, there may be a textual variant within a manuscript, like maybe a sentence or a verse may not have survived in one manuscript, but it's in another. We have yeah, that. Nothing's like, Yeah. The message is preserved, true. right? Yes. However, oh, okay. the, the, the Muslim idea of preservation is every single word, every letter has to be the exact same. That's what you guys think preservation is, according to your paradigm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's yeah. where we defer on preservation. So what Jay Smith is saying, he's not saying that the Bible's corrupted. He's admitting that we have textual variants and it's not a problem. It's not a problem for us. Yeah, 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 I understand what you're saying. Yeah, this is like I, I, I have to study more. Right now, for me, I, I, I am like, uh, I'm like uh, satisfied with uh, those answers which I have gotten till yet. But maybe it nice. cannot uh, satisfy you because I have maybe study more and can bring a better answer for those things. Well, I, well I'll, yeah. I'll tell you this: I definitely enjoyed our conversation. Like you, you know, you was a, you, a breath of fresh air. We was able to move from point A to point B. You know, we understood each other. So, I, I thank you for that. It was a good conversation. Yes, I also have like a question for you about Christianity, but it's not like attacking. I I want to no, see I, how you can. Answer yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, go ahead. You you've proven uh, that what, you can. That you can ask yes. questions. Go ahead. What do you guys believe about like evolution? Would you accept? Would you guys accept it or not? About evolution. about what? A a evolution, human evolution. Oh, evolution, like like a, yeah. an, an ape becoming a human. Yes, yes, like this. Things. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Okay, so you guys believe that uh, God created Adam and He sent him to the world. We believe that Adam was created here on Earth. I like he was created and he was the first human being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, then I have a question. This thing, I, I also had a question about Muslim and uh, Muslim says that Adam was the uh, first human being. And then we find out that we have a human uh, like uh, bones, like a uh, hundred thousand years ago. So how, how Adam, according to Bible, Adam was like uh, lived 600, 6,000 or 7,000 years ago. Right? No, that's, that's not what the Bible says. Ah, okay. I, I heard this thing. I, 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 I'm not sure about. Yeah, yeah. You, you have a you have different views within Christianity where the, you have what is called young Earth Christianity, and then you have people who believe in like older Earth. So, you know, you have Christians who believe in six thousand years. I'm not one of those. Um, but yeah. So where did they bring this thing six thousand? Is it somewhere written in scripture? It's, uh, yes, it's not written in scripture, but it's they they try to base it off of some type of calculation that they. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, uh, young Earth creationism. Okay. Not, not my bad. And young Earth creationism. About, uh, I heard. I'm not sure about it. I I, I heard. Then I researched it on Google, and it was written there. I'm not. I could be wrong. It also says that the Earth is like ten thousand year old. The what? The Earth is like ten thousand year old. The Earth. Art, yeah. It's ten thousand. No, they according. To, you said according to the Bible. No, no, no. I, I, I somebody tell me. Uh, I, I was watching a video and it was saying, and then I go I write on Google, and the first thing came. It says, yes, uh, Christians uh, believe, or I don't know. Bible says somewhere that art is ten thousand years old. Yeah, no, the Bible doesn't say that. Ah, okay. So you you don't believe on these things? No, I don't. Ah, okay. Yeah, that that, that was just my question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're you're welcome anytime. And if you have any other questions about the Bible or Christianity, just curious yeah. or anything like that, or you want to touch on a subject, you're more than welcome to join me anytime, bro. Yeah, thank you so much, brother. It was All good right. to talk to you. You too. Take care of yourself. Right.
All right. Well, that was a good guest. That was a good start off. Good start off, I would say. Um, really good start off. Yeah. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. Those of you guys watching on YouTube, make sure you guys hit the like button. Those of you guys on TikTok, make sure you guys are tapping the screen as well. We're only at six 16,000 likes. What is that? Make sure you guys are hitting that screen, man. Um, yeah, so yeah, uh, I, I liked him. I liked him, man. It was a, a cool conversation. He was able to uh, engage, you know, with what was being said and and move from point to point. You could, that's all you can ask for, man. Uh, Adam. Who's Adam? Somebody named Adam who's talking? One second, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that somebody is on my YouTube channel talking mess. Here. Here's the link. There's the link right there, Adam, if you want to come up. Come on up. You can have the discussion. <clears throat> There's the link right there, moderators. If you guys can copy that and go ahead and continue to encourage him to click that link if he's if he's barking in the comment section. I see you. I see you guys on t on TikTok. Hawk. I see you, Muslim prisoner. I see you. You guys will be next in that order gonna bring you up hawk let's see if this dude adam joins though there's the link adam adam on youtube there's the link click that link and join the stream there's a link who's d'angelo who's d'angelo is this adam this is not adam I'm going to waste my time, man. There's other people waiting, ready to go. If you ain't ready to go, then stop talking in the comments. Start barking. Uh, D'Angelo, can you message the, uh, message the private chat? Tell me who you are. Who are you? I need, uh, I need to see your screen. Um, it's Incel, Inselberg. I need you to show your camera so that I know, so I know you're a real person. Throw the, throw the thumbs up. Are you a Muslim? Okay. All right, TikTok. We're going to take a break and we're going to go ahead and let this YouTube personality come on up and have this conversation. So just give me one second. What's up? Yeah, what's going on, man? I'm just, uh, I'm trying to figure out what are you actually trying to, um, you know, decipher really when it comes to Islam? Because I feel like you just go in circles every time a Muslim makes a point. You say, no, that's not what it says. That's not what it says. You know, it's, uh, it's not really. It comes off very disingenuous. Obviously, for the Christians in your chat, it, it, it seems like you're so empowering or not. But, dude, you're not really touching on anything when you. You know what I mean? When points are brought up, you're not, you're just saying, no, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. How are you? Are you a scholar now of the Quran or what? I'm just trying to figure this out. Yeah, I'm a sheikh. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So when you talk about um, the Quran says that it, it's, it's not Muhammad and Muhammad means this and that, where, where are you getting your information exactly? I'm getting it from your Muslim scholars and your sources. So I'm going to pull it up real okay. quick. Let me pull this up for you really quick. Mahayman, <laughs> guardian, not supreme authority. So let me just show you that. Um, one second. Let me get to that verse, and then I'll share my screen so that you can see it just for yourself. All right? No, it's not, it's, I don't know. No, I don't want to get caught up in these little... I'm basically... So the, the what you're saying is the Quran... Or so like with the last brother, he said the Quran says that it's come as a... You know, to correct the bible as such that's yeah. that's not necessarily what we what we believe as muslims that's not our paradigm so 
for for that to be stuck to us, that, that would be disingenuous to even start the argument with something like that. At see, the end of the day, the Quran is the Quran is revealed as the final revelation. You see the screen? I see the screen. I can see the screen. Yeah. Yeah, it says Mahiman. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a guardian. A guardian, exactly. So in, in the context of what it's trying to say is this Quran will it clarifies things. It, it's the truth. It's the, the overall, it's basically the truth versus, you know, whatever. But to get back to the question, oh, no, which is... Oh, oh, no, just, just really quick. It's a guardian over what is already the truth. It claims that what came before it is true, and it's a guardian of them as well. No, it claims that Allah has always revealed the truth, but that doesn't mean that the truth still exists. So as you said, yeah. from the question that we're asking, okay. what is the Injil? Okay. Uh, let's, 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 instead of you asking pause, the Muslim, pause, what is pause, the angel? Pause, pause. Your mic is really loud. Pause. Yeah. But you're saying, you just said it doesn't mean that what it, that the truth still exists. So let's see here. Let's go to the previous verse and let's see if it says <clears throat> that the truth still exists. It says, okay. and let the people of the gospel, this is the verse right before, mm -hmm. let the people of the gospel judge mm -hmm. by what Allah has revealed therein. Whoever does and what not is the gospel? Allah has revealed, then it then it is those who are definitely defiantly disobedient. So and what is the gospel? People of the gospel to judge by it. Does the gospel still exist? According what to is the gospel? Now, I'm saying I'm saying because you're trying to imply that it does. So I'm saying I'm asking you, what is the gospel? It's the NGO. What, it's the, uh, I'll, I'll show you here. Let's. No, no, no. What is the gospel for you? you? We already know. Got, we we know what you. the NGO is. I'm I saying you. for you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here it is. <laughs> and we sent following in their footsteps, Jesus, the son of Mary, confirming mm -hmm. what came before him in the Torah. And we gave him the gospel. In yes. which was guidance and light and confirming and, that which and does the, it of the and does the gospel and exist and today in 2024? So does oh, the gospel me, exist wait, today in second, 2024? Excuse me a second, excuse me. So when it says let the people and let the people of the mm -hmm. gospel judge mm -hmm. what Allah has revealed in it, do they have the gospel or not? Do you do you that's what I'm asking? Do you have the gospel? Do they have are the you, gospel or not? Are you saying the New Testament is the gospel it's that Jesus the Quran is referring to? You came up here to waste my time. You said that you don't no, know. Oh wow, know. see now this is where I'm proving that you're disingenuous. I actually agree. This is a get you shut your mouth. Let's have decorum. Be like the the last guy. He had decorum. We was able to have a conversation with you. Your your panic is already showing. You're already manifesting your panic. Just relax. I promise I'm an easygoing guy. When it says here, let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed in it. Do these people of the gospel, do they have the gospel? Yes or no? You can unmute now. I don't have do the Injil have the today. Every Muslim knows that we don't have the Injil today. I didn't ask, do we have the Injil today? I asked, do these people have the gospel? Yes or no? In Muhammad's time, did they have the gospel? There is no gospel today. What a waste of time, guys. What really? You're gonna say I'm a waste of time? Anyway, really? You're a joke. What a waste of time. What an absolute waste of time. Hey guys, if you guys see him in the comment section, just go ahead and mute him. He doesn't deserve to comment in the chat anymore. He talked mess and was straight in panic mode and not able to go ahead and, and dialogue. Can't even answer direct questions when it comes to his book. Says that I'm arguing in circles when it's him that's arguing in circles, not willing to answer a point. When you guys see him, mute him for the entire stream if he ever comments again. Mute him for the... No, let, let him watch. Don't block him. I want him to watch as his Muslim brothers can't answer questions. Let him listen, but he cannot comment. All right, let's get back to TikTok. What a waste of time. What an absolute waste of time. All right, let's see here. Just one second.
Absolute waste of time. All right, let's get back at it. So let's see if they can do better than, than that dude. Huck, you're up. Huck, you have been summoned. Hmm. Huck, you have been summoned. All right, so Shiki's not coming on. Let's see if there's somebody that's ready. Uh, no Christians, guys. No Christians. Muslim prisoner. Muslim prisoner, you're up. What's up with you guys not being ready, man? You guys request and I bring you up and you're not ready. Let's see who we got here. If you are a non-Muslim, if you're not a Muslim, please do not request. Hope you guys hear me clearly. If you're not a Muslim, do not request. Y'all see this, guys? I said, if you're not Muslim, if you're not Muslim, do not request. And then a Christian requests. <laughs> I love my Christian brothers and sisters, but man, you guys are something else. See, we got a super chat. Keep up the good work, God Logic. I've been following you a while, along with Sam and other apologists. Unfortunately, a lot of Muslims are dishonest. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But not the first guest that we had on. The first guest was a pretty good guest. I believe that he was a pretty good guest. Let's see who else we got. Another super chat. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on all you Muslims, for your souls are in danger of eternal damnation for worshiping Satan. Turn back to Jesus. Amen. Amen to that. Conflict Ortiz, Allah at bar. <laughs> getting drunk because logic is online. <laughs> Allah's at the bar getting drunk because logic is online. Tough. Tough. How dare you? How dare you, Conflict Ortiz? All right, let's see who we got. <laughs> they are still looking for the NGO.
Yep, only Muslims. Only Muslims request. Only Muslims request. Hold on. Might be something wrong with my TikTok account, guys. Might be it might be me. It just might be me. So let's go ahead and see if it is me. Don't worry, I forgive all of you who were requesting. I forgive you. No hard feelings, I forgive you. Hello. Hello there. Yeah, how are you? The background is crazy. Welcome back, man. Yeah. How are you? How's my what? Ramadan. It was good. I ate a lot. That's good. How many days have you fast so far? Uh, every day, man. Oh, that's great, mashallah. Yeah, every every day, my my fast was a uh, was a, a dedication to like bringing Muslims the truth from a certain period of time, and then I ate a lot. Oh, the, mashallah, fasting is the best thing to do in this life because it also boosts your health as well. Yeah, I hear a lot of people gain a lot of weight during Ramadan. What? I said I, I, said I hear a lot of people gain weight uh, during Ramadan. <laughs> I don't know. That's not possible because during Ramadan, when you start fasting, you won't be able to you know, gain weight, but instead you will lose weight. Well, that's that's what's supposed to happen, but unfortunately, statistically, Muslims gain more weight in Ramadan than they lose weight. Where did it's, you it's, find that information? Man, I saw this little article thing, man. It was crazy. <laughs> anyway, I just want to, you know, ask you a question here because I have watched your debate with one guy called a correctional officer. And I also had many discussions uh, with him. Oh, no, sorry. I'm gonna let, I'll let you talk just real quick. I got something in the comment section. JP says, "What? What is your? What, what's your response to Muslims who become oneness because they reject the Trinity?" So I'm assuming that these people are converts to Christianity, uh, but they still reject the Trinity, so they go with the oneness doctrine. Well, I, I you know. So I, I would say that you just just take them through the scriptures and show them the Trinity. You know, that's that's what I would that's what I say. They they're already they're already one step closer. They left Islam and then they're in the Bible, so they're close. So just show them, you know, show them the the distinction between the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and boom, you got it. All right, go ahead, uh, Martyr. Yeah, yeah. As I was saying, uh, I watched your conversation with that of the correctional officer, your debate. Mm. Uh, and then in that debate, you had a lot, you, you talk about a lot. And I also had discussion with, uh, with him yesterday. And I asked him a question, but unfortunately, he was not able to answer. So I want to bring this question to your notice because I, I see that you also, you know, have read a lot in Islam. So, and I want to understand which kind of Christians is the, you know, the Quran is talking about here. Because if you look at the Surah 3, which is Al Imran, verse 55. Uh, it stated that uh, but let me go to the Arabic uh, sorry English part it says uh, <clears throat> so Allah is the one speaking here Allah is speaking to Muhammad Allah said uh, mention when Allah said oh Jesus indeed I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you 
superior to those who disbelieve until the day of judgment, resurrection, then to me is your return. And I will judge between you concerning that which you, which you used to defer. So uh, I, I, the most important part about this, what I understand, because I was trying to understand, I try my best to figure out we set here because in the, this the latter part of this it says that I will uh, said I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you. So I'm going to read the most important part now. It said uh, I'll purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you superior to those who disbelieve until until the day of judgment. So I want to understand which group of the people here, you know, God is talking about the people that he said he's going to make them superior from the time Jesus was alive until the day of judgment. So who are those people? But I just want to limit it before the coming of the prophet. So who are these people? Do you actually know which group of people are this? Yes, I do. I'm glad you asked that. So so we understand that, that Allah is talking to Jesus and then about his followers, right? Exactly. Yeah, so the people who will uh, be victorious and remain a superior over the disbelievers until the day of judgment. Um, what group of the followers of Jesus have been dominant? What is what has been the dominant message of those who say they follow Jesus that you know of? Yeah, to me, you know, because what I know, the followers of Jesus, because this is what I tell to my scholar, because when I look at the tafsir of this, uh, even the tafsir, they don't make this thing clear because the tafsir I read, some of them said, even though, you know, some Christians are followers of the Jesus, we the Muslims also are followers of the Jesus. So this Quran is, talk, I, is talking about the Christians before that are followers of Jesus, and today we the Muslim. But so my question here is, now what about the, you know, before the coming of the prophet? Because prophet exactly. Muhammad comes. Exactly. Well, because it, 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 it talks about before the coming of Muhammad and the time after of Muhammad, right? So... This, this is why I asked this very this very simple but important question. What has been the dominant group among the followers of Jesus? I think that's, those are Christians to me. What I read, the, exactly. yeah, the followers of Jesus are Christians. Yes, and but what particular Christians? Because you you know you have heretics who say things or whatever. What group of Christians have been dominant from then all the way up until now? I think that uh, those people that believe in, you know, Trinity. Exactly. They believe in the, so right? Believe in the Trinity, believe in the crucifixion and the resurrection, right? Those are the group exactly. of, those are the group of Christians that have been dominant. So if this verse is true, then all, then the true followers of Jesus are the Trinitarian <laughs> Christians who have been dominant from, for 2000 years. Yeah, exactly. So, but but like, even if it not the even if let's say, even it is not the uh, those people who believe in Trinity, even mm. it is not those people. Mm. Now, what people now is he talking about here? Now, if those people exist, mm. because in Islam, if you are not a Muslim, you cannot go to heaven. So, my question here: If in that you no, know, those people, if they exist. Who are they people? What kind of, because those people are not Muslims. So where will they go? Are, are they still going to heaven <laughs> or not? But according to this ayah, it says that they will be superior until the day of judgment. Exactly. So, so that would mean that these people would have to still exist today and not just still exist, but be dominant, be dominant exactly. above all disbelievers. You know, they would, they would have to be the majority and stuff. So th this is why... The, Trini the Trinitarian Christians are the only group that fits this description. If it's not us, if it's not the Trinitarian Christians, then this would mean that this verse is false. And thus, you know, the crime would be false as a, as a result. Yeah, this verse is very confusing. If you look at it in, in details, you know, it's very, it's very confusing. It really confuses me, you know, and it deepens my research into Islam. 
Yeah, because I cannot still understand. And I have looked at the tafsirs, but what they explain, you cannot understand it because what they are saying is that uh, this ayah is talking about Christians, you know, those that believe in oneness of God. Mm -hmm. But the question is, if can you be, a, can you still believe in oneness of a God and you are a Christian, still you are not a Muslim, will you go to heaven or not? You will not, if you act this scholars, they will tell you, you will not. So which mm -hmm. I, so, so which faction is this people now? And these people should be superior. It, does, it, it doesn't work. That's my point. Look, this, this is an argument. I don't, I don't know, like you, you've probably never seen it before, but this is an argument that we use, bro. Like I literally have, I literally have this as a, hold on. Let me, let me, let me show you. Hold on. Just hold on a second. Um. <clears throat> I literally have this as a as a as a topic title. Watch, look. Uh, give me one second. Let me show you, man. All right, you see that? Yeah. I literally yeah, ha yeah, yeah. I, I have it as a topic title. Allah helped the true Christians. Why? Because this verse. This is a verse that says that Allah, whoever Allah helped, whoever he made superior uh, over the disbelievers until the day of judgment. So whoever's superior even now, who are followers of Jesus, those are the true Christians. That's us. Yeah, because this ayah is because it says it doesn't even if, if it says in that time, but it said until. Like it's a continuous process. Yeah, those people will be superior until the day of judgment. Exactly. So I think this is something very confusing. And the other thing also, I took uh, that one. I took up with some C, uh, the one in speaker's corner. I talked to him through TikTok mm -hmm. because uh, I asked him this question. You know, according to the Quran, mm -hmm. uh, God Allah is the first and last. And then he said, "I said, but I read the Bible. Though I'm still a Muslim, I read the Bible." <laughs> I see also, uh, Jesus said, I am the first and the last. So I said, now, I asked him, if today I, I said myself, I said, I'm the first I'm the, and the last, would that make me God? He said, no, you will not be God. So, but I said, if somebody claimed that in the same book that he is the first and last, and the Quran also said God is the first and last, would that make Jesus God? He said, no, that is written by Paul. Jesus never says that. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't understand because I cannot. I, I don't understand who is this Paul? Is 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 he a, is he an eyewitness to Jesus, or yeah. he come so many years after the Jesus? No, yeah, he's an eyewitness of Jesus. He had a personal experience with Jesus. He used to uh, right after the the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, when his disciples were preaching that they saw him risen, and was teaching that he was Lord. Paul used to go around and try to to unalive them and arrest them. So he was one of the, he was a Pharisee. And so, um, but then um, when he was on his way to go uh, unalive more Christians, Jesus appeared to him. He had a revelation where he saw Jesus and Jesus blinded him for a second and then had him healed. And then he started, he, he, sent, uh, he sent Paul to spread the gospel to non-Jews, to Gentiles. And so he became a Christian. All right. But uh, even, even not talk about that, because I once heard you, you talk about uh, the other one, is it Mark? Yeah, but mm. you said there is an, uh, there's a chapter in Mark which says that uh, Jesus for G for, I don't know, black, black thing, I think blind man come to Jesus and Jesus tell him that your sins are forgiven. Yeah. And if you look at the Quran, according to the Quran, only Allah, can forgive sins. So yeah. I see, I see, there's a correspondency in that one also. Yeah. Jesus sin, and in the Quran says only Allah can forgive sins when you go to Surah 3953. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not just that, my friend, martyr. It's so you have the first and the last title that Jesus has that Allah claims for himself. You have Jesus in the Bible who forgives sins, which the Bible, even the Bible and the Quran say only God can do. That's in Psalms. That's in uh, a bunch of our scriptures that only God forgives sins. It's in the Quran too. Uh, but you also have where Jesus, where it's, the Quran says that Allah is the king of the day of judgment, right? That he's the king or the owner of the day of judgment. 
You familiar with that? That's in Surah Fatiha. You there, Martyr? Hello? Guys, I think Jabril got him. Oh, no. I think Jabril got a hold of my mans. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm you, hearing. You hear? yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I also come across that as well. Yes. Yeah, I understand one aspect. You know, uh -huh. I used to listen to you. I understand one aspect where you said, you know, many people cannot comprehend this, but me personally, I can comprehend because uh, when you say God is all powerful, you know, an all powerful body or 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 something which is all powerful it should not be difficult for us to understand that individual can be in any state he can the same time he God can be can be human can be anything can be in these three states at the same time yeah. <laughs> because he's all powerful if he cannot be in this three state then he is not all powerful exactly there is something he's limited to so <laughs> i understand that aspect when they say he's God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, he, if he wishes, because he's all powerful. There's, there's, whatever we can think of, he should be able to, you know, do that. If he cannot do this three, he cannot be this in this three state, then he's not all powerful. His power is limited. Yeah, I understand that aspect. Wow. As well. So so you you see this. Now, Martin, we've had discussions before, and you're you're and you're you like you said, you you listen to me sometimes. I said, you're in my live listening a lot. So you you see this stuff. What what is your what are your thoughts ultimately on where this is taking you in your journey? Because li like like you said, this right here, this verse that talks about how the those who are superior until the day of judgment, obviously that points to us. As the Trinitarian, as the Christians, the Trinitarians, how how do you go about this then in your journey with everything that you're able to see and understand, and even how what what Jesus claims about himself in the Bible? Yeah, it's very it's very confusing uh, because I brought it to attention of many people, but still I cannot have you know I cannot have uh, you know the sufficient answer to the, this to this question because if yeah. you look at it, because me sometimes I just limited to the time you know before prophet comes. So who are that faction of the Christian that are superior that are dominant mm -hmm. even before you know prophet come? Because when the prophet come. You know, they said we are also part of that those that that faction. But now, if we say the those who believe in Trinity are not that one, so which faction are these people? Are mm -hmm. they dominant in this world today or not? That's the question I always ask. And that would be no. The answer to that is no. You you don't you don't have any other group other than the Trinitarian Christians who are dominant. You don't. Exactly. You know. So like this, it's a it's a double edged sword. It go it hurts Islam both ways because look, if if this is true, right, and Allah helped the the Christians to be dominant, the followers of Jesus to be dominant, and that happens to be the Trinitarians, which obviously it is, then that would mean that Islam is false because <laughs> you know what the Trinitarians believe and teach that it's saying that they what they have is true. Right, that God is triune, that Jesus died uh, for our sins, all these kind of things. That would be true. And if that's true, if that's the true message, then Islam is false because obviously Allah is not a trinity. Uh, Jesus did not die by crucifixion and all this kind of stuff. He didn't rise from the dead. All of that, it, it, it rejects that. So then that would mean Islam would be false if, trin if Trinitarian Christianity is true. Now, if Trinitarian Christianity is false, Right. If if they're not if they're not the dominant group, uh, or they're not the group that Allah is talking about in the Quran, then that would mean that the Quran here Allah failed. He failed to make whatever group he was talking about dominant for until the day of resurrection because it's the Trinitarians who are dominant, and the Trinitarians have been dominant forever. It, whoever this other group is, we don't even, they don't even exist if there's another group. Let, let's say it's the Unitarian Christians. Let's say it's the Christians that deny the, the, the Trinity, um, but it's them. They, st they still believe in the crucifixion. They still believe, you know, Jesus is the son of God, you know, just in a lesser sense, um, all this kind of stuff. But them, they're not dominant. 
They're not the dominant. So again, it would show that Islam is false because Allah failed to keep his promise. So yeah, it, it, it hurts. But even, even, even it is the Unitarian Christians, but if you look at the teachings of the Islam, you will find out that even if the Unitarian Christians will not make to heaven. So exactly. that means the, so it still this ayah still doesn't apply to them again. Yep. So it's a very confusing point. It's a double-edged yeah. sword, martyr. It, it destroys Islam both ways. This is why I use this argument. Because both ways, where whatever whatever way you go with this, it it doesn't work for Islam. Whatever way you go. All right. <laughs> keep keep studying, man. Keep 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 studying. Keep reading that Bible. Keep comparing, man. And uh, you know, it's it, it sounds like it sounds like you're on an interesting journey. I'll tell you that. Um, so I'm, I'm praying for you. I pray for you in your journey and that, you know, God guides you to the truth so that you won't be confused anymore, man. The truth is Christ. I'm telling you, man, come join the right side, man. Come on, man. And, 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 and other things also I want to understand, like uh, if you look at, the, uh, because I try to, you know, understand, I try to, you know, correlate things, like to have a wider understanding of of, of this because if you look at starting from uh, Moses uh, you come to uh, Jesus Christ so they all come with their laws but their laws the other one if you look at Christianity I think it comes to expand the laws the Moses left behind even though uh, there is maybe a, some words may be contradictory but what is really matters to me like if you look at the laws in Islam like like when you talk about slavery you know, and treatment of <laughs> those things are very stressful. But, but the most important thing, that's what is abrogation. You know, I can't mm -hmm. still comprehend when it comes to abrogation because what I understand in the Bible, you know, most of the Muslims call contradiction. But if the same thing happens in the Quran, people term it as abrogation. So when you say abrogation, you know, it simply mean, you know, then God is not all knowing because he come, he first bring out a law and later he changed that law. Like, let's say, initially, Muslim used to pray to face Jerusalem. Mm. And then later on, he said, turn towards uh, Mecca. So uh, it's to me, you know, it was like he did not know before that, you know, praying towards Mecca is best for us before. That's why he first ordered us to pray towards Jerusalem. But later he realized that, let them pray towards Mecca. But when I asked, they said, this is not contradiction, this is abrogation. So if it is abrogation, so that means the first one, he did not know. So why why, why it doesn't come at the beginning? Let's just face Mecca instead of face Jerusalem. Yeah, that's an interesting point, man. I've actually never, I've heard, I've you know, I've read this stuff before and like that, that little stuff, you know, it's like, wow, that doesn't make sense. Why not just do it, you know, this way? But I never saw that that was strong enough to be like, you know, to get just be an argument that's like, oh, Islam is false because of that. But it is it is a point that kind of shows the inconsistency. You know what I'm saying? Like it it it, it, it does point to that a abrogation, man. It, it's it's a silly, silly concept. It is a silly concept, man. All right, man. Thank you so much. It's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see where you're at uh, a, a few weeks from now. I, I I can't wait to see where your head is. I, I'm very <laughs> interested where you're going, man. And I'm just reading, making research. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you keep up the good work, man. Keep reading, and uh, you yeah. got a whole you got a lot of people praying for you, man, on this side. So um, may God guide you. Okay. Thank you, man. All right, you take care of yourself. Thanks for coming up. All right, we got a big, huge super chat, and I believe that this message from Flipping Fruit uh, is going to our brother that was just here on the stage, our Muslim friend. Uh, we have a super chat from YouTube. Martyr, if you're still listening, they said, Jesus loves you. So Jesus loves you. They dropped a big super chat, too. It's $200. Big super chat, man. God bless you, Flipping Fruit. Thank you so much for your generosity and you giving. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. 
All right, let's see here who we got on YouTube here. So we got some folks that are in the thing here. Let's see. All right, I'll do one. I'll do one more TikTok guest, and then I'll go to a YouTube guest just to see what you guys are on about. All right. Well, actually, I just did a a YouTube uh, TikTok guest. Let me do a. Let me do a YouTube guest. Um, how you doing? Osman, welcome back. Hi, Avery. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Fine. You remember me, huh? <laughs> yeah, I remember you. Okay. I, I forgot what we talked about last time, but I, I do remember you. Yeah, it was about uh, the crucifixion. Crucifixion. That's right. All right. All right. So today our topic is the NGO. I'm asking, what is the NGO? What is that? It is a book revealed to Jesus. Peace be upon him. A book revealed to Jesus. Okay. Uh, but what specifically is this book? Like, what, what is it? What's in it? You know? Who wrote it? There are guidance in it. You said there was guidance in it? Yeah. Yeah, so there's guidance in the Quran, right? There's guidance in the Torah, the Psalms, there's yeah. guidance, in them, but what, what is this guidance? What's, what's in it? I don't know what it is. I, I never read the NGO. It's fair answer. You haven't, you haven't read the, you haven't read the NGO, so you don't, you don't know what kind of guidance is in there. That's fair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's fair. Um, so with, in saying that, then, uh, I, I believe that I have the Injil today in my Bible. Do you have a problem with me saying that? Uh, I don't have any problem if you believe so. Okay. So if I have the Injil, uh, the gospel that was revealed to Jesus, that Jesus brought as a revelation, and, you know, and I read it, I believe in it, I practice it, um, it brings a problem for Islam because what I find in the gospel, in the Injil, is that Jesus is the son of God who came down from heaven, took on flesh to die for my sins and was crucified and rose again on the third day. But obviously the Quran goes against all of this, right? Yeah. So... If I have the revelation of Jesus, that would mean, and, and this is what it says in, in, in Jesus' revelation, then that would mean that the Quran is false because it contradicts what Jesus said. Uh, I can tell you one thing. You don't believe exactly that uh, uh, Jesus came with revelation. You believe that there are four gospels who wrote about the biography, the biography of Jesus. I can I speak French and Arabic, but uh, in English I'm not so fluently. So, but um, what I'm saying, you believe in four gospels that uh, speak about the biography of Jesus, and that four gospel is written by his disciple. So not the that is not the angel. So that is not a revelation to Jesus, but his biography about Jesus by his disciple. So that's what you believe in. Okay. So this is what I would counter with that point that you just raised. The, yeah. the gospel written in a, bi a biographical style of writing, but it's still the gospel, right? It's the revelation of Jesus. And it is the revelation his, of Jesus, yeah, by yeah, written by his disciples. 
So what what so, is the problem with that? Uh, let me ask you a question. It is a revelation that Jesus gave to his disciple or it is the disciple who got a revelation from God to write about Jesus? It's both. It's the revelation that Jesus gave to his disciples and uh, revelation and inspiration that the disciples got from God to write about Jesus. It's both. Uh, how can it be both? I don't understand. Well, the Quran even says that they, that, that Allah inspired or gave wahi to the disciples in their belief in Jesus. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, believe, uh, believe, it says what revelation that was in the next uh, sentence. In, in the belief of Jesus. So they were given wahi in the belief of Jesus. So wouldn't it, doesn't it make sense that if they wrote about Jesus, it will be correct and in line with the inspiration that God gave them about Jesus? Yeah, it says that uh, God gave them revelation to believe in Jesus. Right. So that was the revelation. Of course. So but when they get this revelation to believe in Jesus, and they're writing down this revelation of what it is to believe in Jesus, it lines up with, like, that makes perfect sense that that's what we would find, right? Yeah, but uh, the gospel you have uh, don't exactly say what uh, Jesus, uh, don't, uh, they don't uh, uh, claim themselves to be uh, like, uh, uh like the revelation of god but the claim to be a biography or uh, something that jesus said and who no yeah they no yeah reported no, yeah, they, about they, it they do they claim to be scripture it says that all scripture is god breathed and inspired by the holy spirit so what they wrote is god breathed and inspired by the holy spirit uh so I believe is an uh, inspiration of God, the the gospels. That is correct. Okay. So with this, but, uh, we don't we don't believe that uh, the Angel, because the Angel is one book, and the gospel are four books. Wait, hold on a second. How many books is the Torah? The Torah is one book. No, the Torah is five. Five books in one book. Five books under the title of, uh, with one title. You have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy that are yeah, all they, identified as the Torah. Together they are the Torah. Yeah, we have chapters in our Quran. We have uh, Juzu, we have uh, Zab. They all yeah, but these aren't, yeah, but these aren't just chapters. These are These are actual books. Like Genesis is a book. Leviticus is a book. Deuteronomy, Numbers, those are books. Those are five books that together are called the Torah. So the Torah okay. consists of five books together. Okay, the Gospel, book, uh, the Torah. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 uh, the same author, no? Yeah, Moses. Moses and Joshua. Yeah, the same author. Moses and Joshua. Joshua. Uh, yeah, Joshua okay. was the prophet that came right after Moses, and he finished writing this. So the Torah. He finished writing this. Okay, but uh, it is revelation to Moses, not to Joshua. Uh, both. Okay. Uh, so. No, but well, yeah, but you know, it's it's. It's called the law or Torah of Moses because predominantly it was revealed to him and, you know, most of it comes from him and he's the one who received the commandments on the, you know, on the Mount Sinai and stuff like that. But his successor, Joshua, he just he just finished basically the tail end of, of the Torah. He finished it. And so you have the Torah, you have this the singular Torah, right? The singular Torah that consists of five books. Similarly, you have the gospel, singular, it's a, it's a gospel, 
but it consists of four books. But not the same author. Doesn't have to be, no. It's still considered the gospel, though. Uh, still considered one book? Yes, it's, it's it's called it's called the fourfold gospel, as it was in early tradition. The fourfold gospel. So it's the gospel, the four accounts. Yep. So it being it having, you know, a plurality to it, it, it shouldn't it shouldn't sway you. The Torah has a plurality to it, the gospel has a plurality to it, it's okay. There's no problem. Yeah. So then, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't think there's a reason for you to doubt that we have the gospel of Jesus. I mean, it's the only gospel that's in existence. That is the gospel of Jesus. It's what the Christians have always used for two thousand years now. Yeah, but there are other gospels in the early Christian, I believe. Uh, nope, there are not. Yeah, yeah, you have the opinion. About, are you talking about Gnostic writings? Gnostic writings that no, have no. been... No, okay, no, no, I'm talking are... about the Ibanets. Uh, 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 the they, don't have, they, don't have, they don't have a gospel either. No, no, they have. They have a gospel. It was uh, like uh, the gospel of Mark, but uh, not uh, the same. So where is this? Uh, I don't know where it is. But uh, you know, I read from uh, doesn't exist. A Trinitarian historian, I read his book, and uh, he said that uh, they may not have had a gospel of Mark, the only gospel. They have one gospel, not four gospels. If they had the gospel of Mark, it was the gospel of Mark that we have. It's not any different. It is the same, but uh, not exactly. It is exactly it's similar the same. to him. It's not exactly the same. No, he says, you know, the historian said, he, he is a Trinitarian historian. He said they have a, a gospel like the similar uh, to the gospel of Mark, but uh, not exactly the same. Yeah, do they have uh, evidence of this, of this invisible gospel that the Ebonites had that was similar to what we have, but just different? Do they have, do they have evidence of this? Uh, I didn't read further, but uh, he said, that, the answer uh, is no. Uh, there is no such thing, bro. There's no uh, such thing. Yeah, it's you say against his word, you know. It's no, it's not word. my word against his. It's bring it out. All you got to do is bring it out. <laughs> would have would have made top top news. Yeah. Look, we found the Ebian, the gospel of the Ebionites. You know, would have been front page news. <laughs> <laughs> You know yeah, they had the gospel, brother. They have, a, they had the gospel, and they rejected Paul. They rejected I need the Paul evidence of this. I need the evidence. I need the evidence of this. Yeah, do you don't find if uh, the evidence? You, the evidence. If you, don't have, story. if you don't have any evidence of this, man, I I would suggest that you just don't don't say this. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah, it is report from Trinitarian. So okay. why he does lie, you know? Okay. So since we can now just, you know, dismiss that, um, what, uh, so we have the gospel of Jesus. And if the, since I have the gospel of Jesus and what it says in the gospel, it proves that the Quran is false since it contradicts it. Uh, not necessarily. Because the Quran right. do say, the Quran do say uh, the Injil has been corrupted. Where does the Quran say that the Injil has been corrupted? So it said the, the people of book corrupted their books. Yeah, where does the Quran say that the Injil has been corrupted? The people of book, they don't specify the Christian. Okay. So... We don't have a verse that says that the Injil was corrupted. Do we have in a, a verse that says that the people of the book corrupted their scriptures? Where, what verse is that? 
Yeah, we have uh, too many verses, not only one. Okay, give me one. Uh, I can break with the verse. So. Huh? Did he say he's? Did he say he's looking for it? I didn't hear him. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. Make sure you guys hit the like button. There's 1,600 people, over 1,600 people here watching on YouTube. So make sure, guys, that there are 1,600 likes. Even if you're Muslims that are watching in here, and I know you are, go ahead and give the like, give the video a like, give the stream a like if you guys enjoy these type of conversations, these type of engagements. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that like button. Shubadoop, da ba da. So you have uh, ah. chapter one, verse uh, seventy-five. What chap? What chapter? Chapter two. Chapter two. Verse seventy-five. Yeah. Chapter yeah. Okay. So chapter two, verse seventy-five. It doesn't say that the people of the book corrupt their scriptures. It says that they distort it after hearing. Yeah, it's the same. Corrupted story. How? No, it's not the same. When it says, do you covet that they would believe you, believe for you while a party of them, so some of them, while some of them used to hear the words of Allah and then distort hold on and then distort it after they understood it while they know so they used to hear the words yeah corruption they, <clears throat> they hear the words and they distorted it after they understood it so how did they distort the words? It doesn't say that they corrupted the text. It sounds like they heard the words and then lied about what the what they heard. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, it's the same. Corruption is three, three kinds of corruption. Distortion is one of them. Yeah, distortion how? That's my question. How did they distort it? Did they distort the text or did they distort what they heard? Uh, it says distort the word of God. Yeah, that they heard, right? Yeah, the same. So it means that they're distorting with their tongues, not with the pen, right? Distorting with the tongue or pen is the same. No, it is not. If I if I say that, uh, oh, the Quran said that God is triune. Did I distort the Quran with my tongue or did I distort the Quran with the text? Both. So I went in and I changed the Quran with, with my pen when I just audibly say the Quran says God is triune? So we do have the Quran and the Quran says exactly that uh, the God is not triune. And you no. go to people and you say to them that... Uh, uh the quran says that so you distorted the quran the word of god how how did i distort it did i distort it by writing going in and changing what's written or did i distort it by lying about what it says with my mouth the problem is not the pain or the word the problem just, they distorted just answer the, just answer the okay. question my friend uh what is your question <sighs> If I say that the Quran says that God is triune when it doesn't, if I say that it says that, did I just distort what the Quran says? Yeah. Good. Now, did I just distort the Quran with my mouth or did I distort the Quran by rewriting it? Uh... By your, by your mouth, but uh, there are other verses who talk about 
about distortion so there, by pain. So just one second. So there's a difference between distorting with your mouth and then distorting with the text, correct? There's a difference, right? Yeah, there is a difference. Very good. So verse chapter 2, verse 75, it says that after hearing the words of Allah, after hearing them, they then, some of them, then distorted it after they understood it. So how did they distort here? Did they distort what they heard by lying on, on what they heard? Or did they distort the text of what they heard? Look, to me, it's the same. But uh, you are concerning so about too much about the word, uh, what the text say. But uh, the text say, generally, they distort it, you know. But uh, if you really concerning about words, you have in the Gospel of John said that only the only God is the Father. You know, you don't concern about word, what is meaning, you know. Distorting, yeah, distorting by text or by word, it is the same all the time. But if you want to uh, concentrate about the, what it exactly says, that is a problem, you know. Distorting is the same by word or by text. You distort it, you distort it. <clears throat> Are you with me? Nah, I think uh, I think I think we uh, we hit the um, we hit a roadblock here, my friend. There's no we can't reason with each other, so I I got to move on. Okay. Okay. No problem. All right, thanks, thanks for coming. Take care. I choose me. I choose me. Not doing it. I don't have to do it. I choose me. I choose me. And I will respectfully choose me, you know? Especially when, you know, they're respectful. He was, he was respectful and stuff like that. He wasn't disrespectful, just can't reason. And so at that point, you got to respectfully choose yourself in a very gentle, loving way. You got to choose yourself. I choose me. All right. So let's see here who we got left. We got some guests on TikTok. There was somebody named Ice Mask having having the right questions and answers can sometimes defeat logic. Uh, see what I did there. It's <laughs> funny. All right, moving on over to TikTok. Going back to TikTok. Going back to TikTok. Let's see. Maybe we can. Uh, man, we we've got two. TikTok is winning right now. TikTok is winning right now when it comes to the level of uh, reasonability. We're two for one on TikTok. Two for one on TikTok. Or two for two. Let's see here. Um, hold on. We got Ice Master here. Let me go ahead and bring him up. How you doing? I'm cool. How you doing too, man? Yo, baby. I'm, I'm good. Uh, yeah, okay, I can hear you. So what's up, man? I'm, I'm asking what it... I'm asking, what is the what is the NGO? Um, so based on my understanding, I would say that the the NGO is actually like 
the teachings of you know prophet isa who you refer to as you know jesus that was like the teachings that he made during his time to you know the people at that time so i would describe the angel as that okay what are, what are those teachings do you believe i have those teachings today um, I don't believe you have some of it, but I don't think you have, you know, fully. Do you believe that some of it's been lost? Yep. All right, so how do you determine what are the true teachings of Jesus and what I have and what isn't? Okay, um, before we continue, I have just one simple question. Uh, did the early Christians before Jesus, you know, believe about or believe in the Trinity? Did the early Christians, you said before Jesus? There's no yeah, Christian believe, before Jesus, but yeah. right after Jesus? There was no Christian before Jesus? So, okay, so the prophets, did they, you know, the believe prophet. in one God or the Trinity? They, believe, they believed in the one God who was triune. They believed in one God who was triune. They believed that the one God is a so, Trinity. So do, you have Trinity any, so do you have any, you know, any proof? That they actually believed in a triune God? I do. I can I can show you that as soon as we finish our topic. Okay. Okay. So let's let's right. let's move back to the topic. So what was the so, question? So, so the question was, how do you determine what is truly the words of Jesus or the teachings of Jesus and what I have and what isn't? So I would say that I would judge that based on what I see in the you know Quran. Okay, where does the Quran tell you um, to use the Quran to judge the gospel? I wouldn't actually say that it tells us, you know, use the Quran to judge the gospel. But in a particular verse, it says that, you know, the people of uh, the Torah should judge using that particular, you know, book. And then maybe the people of the gospel should also judge using that book. When it came to the, the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he also told the ones at that time to use it to, you know, judge what happens after. So it's like each prophet that had a book or a revelation was told to, like, you know, his little people were told to, like, judge using that particular book. So now we... In yeah, the but they're, they're Islam, supposed to judge... Yeah, just one second. They're supposed to judge what laws are applied to them. Not the theology. The theology and everything is supposed to be the same in all the books. The difference is, is where the laws are applied. And so with different times and different peoples, different laws apply to different people. Like the people of the gospel, they're not under the same law as the Torah. They're under the law of the gospel. They have to judge by the gospel. The Quran, they're not under the law of the Torah or the gospel anymore. They're under the laws and commands of the Quran. So that's that's what that is. That they're they're, it, they're supposed to judge by what laws apply to them, not theology. Okay. So what is the question exactly? I don't I don't get your point. So the question exactly again is, because um, you said that you use the Quran to determine what's true and false in my gospel. And I asked you, where does the Quran tell you to do that? And, you know, this is where we're at. So the Quran doesn't tell you to do that, right? So you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't say, oh, if if the if the gospel disagrees with the Quran here, then that means that the that the gospel right here is false. Yeah, that's the Quran doesn't tell you to do that. The Quran says that it came confirming what came before it, not correcting it. But at the same time, the Quran also says that, you know. The people that you know had that were present during that time, with the passage of time, some of them, you know, changed the the or omitted or you know, um, I think the exact word there was, uh, um, what was it exactly? The the the, the, the Quran the says word. that they distort. The Quran says that they distort uh -huh. the, yeah, that's, the that's, books that's the with their I'm tongue. With their tongues, not the text. Nowhere in the Quran does it ever say that the text of the previous scriptures have been compromised. N nowhere in the but Quran Jesus does it say. Teachings that. were actually in you know a form of you no know, verbal form. 
he didn't actually write anything down for nobody, right? Yeah, but the gospel was written. Based on what Jesus said. Yeah, so they had a written gospel in their time that, that was considered the word of God. That's what the Quran says. So, so I'm trying to make a point that the gospel was was obtained from what Jesus said and, you know, the way he acted and all that. So what he said is, uh, you know, referred to as, you know, the verbal form, not text. So with the passage of time, those that came after, you know, distorted the the teachings that he he uh, you know fermented during his time or perfected during his time with the other you know people around all uh, right i actually remember a certain verse in the in the bible i think he entered into a certain town and then people were like here comes the prophet of this or that i think you remember any verse well let's well let's 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 stay focused here so you're saying that the gospel was originally an oral myth revelation from Jesus. Um, and then people came later and wrote down what he said. But when they wrote it down, they distorted it and changed what he said. Correct? Is that correct? I think Jabril got another one. Yo, 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 you there? Avery. There you go. Yo. Here you go. Okay. Okay. So, so you're um, saying that they so you're saying that they wrote what Jesus said, but they just when they wrote, they distorted it. Is that correct? Hello. Avery, Avery. Hello. Yo. You all right, man? Avery. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Okay, okay. So you were saying you were saying something. So I asked, you're saying that they wrote down what Jesus said, but when they wrote it down, they corrupted it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So what they wrote down then would not be the gospel, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, according to, to the Quran, they had the gospel. They had it the written. Teachings. The teachings. No, they had it written. Where? Chapter 7, wait, verse 157. Wait, 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 wait. Chapter 7, what verse 157. Could you, could you bring that up? Yeah, I got you. 7, 157. Shoo ba doop, da ba doop, doop doop, da ba da da, doop da doop. And let me get you the correct translation here since they be trying to play games sometimes. Um, All right. You see it? We're on the screen here. It says, those who follow the messenger, the prophet who can neither read nor write, whom they find written with them in the Torah and the gospel. And look, even the commentator <laughs> throws in my Bible. <laughs> okay. The commands them for all the more things. Forbid them all more things. So you see how it so, says that it was that the gospel was written. Okay. 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 I think I made a mistake. It's okay. Uh, so, so that so means from this. Yeah, go ahead. So from this, um, I'll derive that you're talking about the fact that the gospel was written. But from my current understanding, I would say that maybe the people that came after, because 
when you talk about the injil and and you say that it is you know preserved it has to be the exact same things like you quote you're quoting what someone said so if maybe i went to jack and jack said tell you know paul to go to you know uh the church if i go over to you know paul and tell him jack said go to you know the church that's exactly what you know jack said so in in um you know the context of the quran every single thing has remained the same there hasn't been one single change in the quran but in the form of you know in the context of you know the injil i would say that there have been you know many or uh, you know several changes within because i think i remember one of your videos with uthman what you were talking about um the Ahaziah, you know, contradiction. And you said that you believe that you rule twice. But Uthman also said that, you know, the NIV people, they said that it was a mistake, so they changed it. So it means that that particular text there was not preserved. It was changed. So I, want, I just want you to understand that, you know, the importance of preservation. So if the Bible or the Injil was said to have been preserved since the time of, you know, Jesus, there shouldn't be a single mistake in it. You shouldn't go to okay. the manuscript and see the I heard you, bro. Something let me jump in here. Let me jump in here now. Yeah, let me let me jump in here now. So you have a okay, lot of okay. misconceptions, and I'm gonna address and I'm gonna show you how your your line of thinking destroys Islam. So number one, with the age of Ahaziah, mm-hmm. with the end, what 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 Uthman was quoting in the commentator was saying that there's a textual variant. How in some ma- in okay. the manuscripts. They say 22, but there is another manuscript that says 42 as a copyist error. So the the real age is 22. It's not that it hasn't been preserved. Is that that there's a textual variant? Nothing is lost. Okay. So when most of the manuscripts say 22, and then you have one manuscript that has a slip of the pen that says 42, you can tell which one is correct. You know what I'm saying? But it means that it hasn't been preserved. That that, that means it has that, that means it has it literally means it's been preserved since you're able to identify what is correct and what's not. That means you well, how, have how your from how do you get how do just, you get one second a mistake one, like one second has been one, one second one one second because okay, I, okay. I see here that explaining textual variance to you is a waste of time because you already have a view on what you think preservation is. You think preservation is okay. exact words. If it's not the exact words, if there's anything missing, then it's not preserved and cannot be the word of God. Is that correct? Uh, passion. I, I, it is or it is not, because that's that's what you was raising against the Bible. You were saying that this means that it's not preserved and now and and is therefore unreliable since there is a difference. Since somebody says that it's changed or there was a, a mistake, so if the if the exact words are not the same, then it then it's not preserved, right? That's what you said earlier. Are you standing yeah, ten toes down very, on that? You know, a, oh, I, okay, I understand what you're saying, but I mean that there's a possibility that it has been changed. Okay, if it's not the same words, it means that there's a possibility that some of the words have been changed. Okay, you get so me? let's see. Let's see if you keep that same energy. I'm going to show you the Quran now, and I'm going to show you where an entire word is missing in one Quran, or depending on what view you have, whether you, I'll I'll show you. Depends on what view you have. Okay. If you follow the Warsh Quran, you'll say that the house added. Okay. Let's see here. I'm free to the possibility. So let's, let's see what you're talking about. All right. But 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 you actually seem like a good guy in some videos. Present. Thanks. I try to be. And some some videos to you actually you know insulters and call us swines. <laughs> if I may quote your words, preserve. Well, you know, Jesus says, do not give your pearls to swines or dogs. And so I have to use wisdom when I determine who is a swine and who and, and who is not. So usually uh, when people are that? honest, when people are honest and sincere, they're not swine. Okay. All right. So look, okay. I like this. 
I like this website here because it even color codes the difference and stuff. So I'll show you this. So this is chapter 57, verse 24 of the Quran. Okay. okay. Right here, this is the Hafs Quran. This is the Hafs. This is the, um, ooh, I forgot which one this was. Uh, but this one is Warsh. This one is the Warsh Quran. All right. Okay. Now, these two are the okay. same. The Warsh and the one and this one, they're the same. The different one is the Hafs, which is probably the one you read. I'm going to show you here. Do you see this word right here that I'm pointing at? Yeah, Hua. Yeah, Hua. Oh, good. You know it. Hua. Right? That's in the, in the Hafs. He is. Okay. Here in the Warsh and in this one, the word who is gone, it's missing. So that means okay. that the Quran has been changed according to your standard. Okay, okay, okay. That's so does that mean now that the mean. does that mean that this verse in, in the Quran has been corrupted and it's now it's unreliable? Um no. Okay, no. Why not? Because because um when 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 you look at the you know the other Qurans and you see, you know, I think I think it deals with you know language. I would say I'm not quite you know fluent in Arabic you know language. I would say maybe if in some um in some instances some words may be able to, you know, cover other words. So maybe if you're talking about uh, he moved away, and then maybe you say he left, it actually means the same. But that would contradict what I said. So I think exactly. Uh, I admit, the but okay, but I admit defeat in this. So. And, and that's okay because what we want to do is we want to learn and grow from our positions, right? If our position is inconsistent, then we we got to grow and change our position. Right. So and it's OK if if the words are different. Right. If if wording is different or wording not there, but the, the context or the message or the meaning is still there, then it's preserved. That's what Christians believe. We don't we don't believe in preservation in the sense that like you do as in other Muslims that, you know, you guys have this yeah. idea that preservation means every single word right down to the letter has to be exactly the same you know every time all the way from back yeah. to muhammad that's what you guys believe yeah, which is a problem as you see here if that's your if that's preservation then the quran is not preserved because there's a lot of differences however this is how christians view preservation we view preservation in the sense that as long as the meaning is the same and the message is unchanged then it's been preserved even if there's different letterings or a missing word or let's say one manuscript has well, this verse different. when another manuscript doesn't but the meaning is still there the message is unchanged we believe it's still preserved it doesn't have to be letter for letter word for word for us the message is intact but in your case in your case it's quite different because we're talking about numbers so if i'm given a year maybe 2011 uh, and in this uh, other you know it says 2015 that gives a different, but, you know, different message. No, it so doesn't give it. My friend, my friend, my friend, you're you're missing what I'm saying. Okay, so again, okay. Well, I, we I have. Get what I get what you're saying. Okay, good. So if you I get what I'm saying, it, this isn't a problem. It's just a textual variant. If we have we have the manuscripts, Syriac, uh, scrolls and stuff like that, that all say 22. But you have the manu the um, Masoretic text that has the okay. copyist error of 42. We can spot the error. When all of these manuscripts say the one thing, this one says something different. We can see the, and we and the style, you know, writing that number looks just like writing this number. We can see how the, the mistake can be made. So we 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 know where, where the problem is, and we can spot the problem. Because we have the preserved text. That's the point. 
And this is why I can confidently what, what say he was twenty. Hmm? What shows the what shows that sex is preserved? If we are since just listen to what I said again. We have the text. We have the manuscripts that say twenty two. All of them are consistent saying twenty two. When you but there's one manuscript like the Masoretic text that says forty two. And even the writing, the, the way that you write 42 and 22 looks very similar. So you can see where the copyist error can be. We have multiple manuscripts that say 22. None of them say 42. Then you have this one that has this 42 error. So we can spot the copyist error. We can spot the mistake in this textual variant. So the correct answer is that it was 22 based off the evidence that we have. Based off the preserved text that we have, you understand. So, so your argument is that oh, I understand what you're saying. So your argument is that if maybe you have several texts, maybe you have six different texts, and majority says maybe 42, and then the last one says maybe 22, you go with the one that has you know more votes or more you know. You get what I'm saying, right? Is that we'll follow is the that manuscript tradition? In a lot of cases, yes. What? Yes, in a lot of cases, that's so, how you do it. So you just go, you just go with the one that has, you know, most. You get that's what the evidence, right? Yeah, that's where the evidence leads. When you have all the manuscripts so, so what is, saying one thing, and then one manuscript having the same story but makes a little mistake there, we can we can easily spot it. We can easily spot it. But but do you believe in the you know concept of possibility? Do you that there may be a poss a possibility that maybe the ones that have the major you know votes are wrong and then the one that has the minimal votes are right? Yeah, and, do, and, do and the likelihood, that that's the likelihood of that is very slim to none. The likelihood of that is slim it's, to none. It's still a possibility, right? A anything is possible. It's, okay, okay. So, Anything's so, possible. So you but you're going that. with you're going with reason and logic, bro. So if you want if you want to go with the with the probability that oh all the manuscripts got it wrong and this one is the one that got it right, well guess what? We still have the preserved text. We still have the right one. You get what I'm saying? Okay. 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 Yeah, I get so it. we don't we don't lose anything. Um I get I get so, where you're coming from. So yeah. So oh, touching yeah. on this. As long as, as as long as you know the message and the theology is intact and the same, it's preserved. That's how Christians view preservation. With Muslims, your view of preservation will get you in trouble, as you just saw. But the meaning is still the same. Uh, sometimes you you do you all, you also have you also have you also have variants where the meaning is different. In in what sense? Could you give me an example? Yeah. Okay. I always want to learn new things. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, are you able to read this? Well, Ajipta. Mm -hmm. What does Ajipta well, mean? Horun. Very good. What does what Ajipta yeah. mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, it means I don't to be. Know how to be. It means to be surprised or like astonished. Okay. Okay. So. This is Allah talking to Muhammad. He's the speaker. Allah is the speaker. He says, <clears throat> but you were astonished while they mocked. Talking about the disbelievers. When Muhammad recited the revelation to them, some of the, uh, they mocked him. And so yeah. Allah saying you were astonished while they mocked. All right. This is the word right here. Ajepta. That's the word we're going to focus on. Okay, Egypt. so it, this okay. is you, Ajepta, you were surprised or you were astonished when they mocked. 
Okay. Right. Now yeah. we scroll down. Let's go to the Caliph Quran. Can you read this? Beautiful. So this one is Ajab 2. The first one that we read is Ajab Ta, right? Huh? This one is yeah. Ajab 2, which means which is saying, I was astonished while they mocked. So Allah is saying that he himself, he says, I was astonished while they mocked instead of you talking to Muhammad. Ooh. So that changes the meaning. The first one has, oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, there he is. You there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can right. hear you. I can hear you. All right, very good. All right, so let me bring it back up. Okay. So, yeah, so the first one. The first one has Muhammad being amazed, being astonished while they mocked. The second one has Allah the one being amazed. And that changes the meaning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Could you could you give me the 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 Qurans, the different, you know, Qurans who made this? Yeah. So yeah, so you have so this one is Caliph, the Caliph Quran. Okay, I'm gonna jump that down. Yeah, this is chapter 37, verse 12 in the Caliph Quran. And then the other one is the is the Hafs Quran. Hafs. Those are the two Qurans we're 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 uh comparing with this particular example. Yeah, I'm, I'm quiet, I'm quiet, you know, stunned, stunned at this new realization. <laughs> I don't even know how to continue with the conversation, no. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm stunned for words. It's, it's this okay, is the man. first time I've heard it come like this. Yeah, it, but it, 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 it's I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my research, you know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to do course. my research and find out how and why it, it appeared like this. Yeah, of like course. This. Now but, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this right now, bro. Man. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this yeah. right now. This idea that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, letter for letter, that wherever you go, everyone recites. It the same. Wherever you go, everyone recites it the same. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, wherever you go, everyone is reading it the same. That is a myth, and it's a lie. Because you go to different places in the world, like, for example, if you were to go to Morocco, their, their, the Quran that they're reading is the Warsh Quran that has a lot of differences than the Hafs Quran. A lot of differences. And I'm not just talking about dialect. See, a lot of people, I was glad that you can read the Arabic. A lot of people would try to say, oh, it's dialect. Oh, it's, it's just how they recite. It's different recitations, how they pronounce certain words. No. That's not what we're talking about. These are actual different words with different meanings. That's what we're talking about. You know? So. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. So, yeah, man. So, like, that's that's what I'm saying. When, when, when Muslims come and they say, oh, your Bible's been changed because in, in you know, a certain manuscripts, you know, have variants or differences. So that means that your Bible mm -hmm. is corrupt. If that's the case, because I disagree with that, but if, if we're going with that, then you have to say that the Quran is corrupt too because it has the same stuff. It has textual variants in the Quran. But I would say worse. Why, why would you say worse? <laughs> <laughs> be, be, because you have stuff like this where the meaning, the entire context changes like from 
Muhammad to Allah now. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. there can be certain ways that you interpret how Allah is astonished. Like that, that could be up to you. How you how, however you guys interpret that, that's up to y'all. I have no yeah. problem with that. You know, it could be figurative or metaphorically speaking or whatever. I don't I don't mind that. Okay. My my thing is yeah. is that it it changes the meaning of the text because you one text, it's Muhammad who's the one who's astonished. Then it changes to God, who is the one who's astonished, you know. So that's 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 but, where the yeah I get yeah I get you. But funny enough, it's quite in a similar situation as a Hazari text, you know, where you find some saying four, 44, 42, and another one saying twenty two. You only have one saying, saying you know, forty two. You you only have one saying forty two. It's it's different here. With here, you have plenty that say Muhammad is the one that's astonished, right? You have plenty that say that. Okay. As we're scrolling, all the ones that are in black, that are not colored purple, they all say Ajepta, Ajepta, right? But then okay. you also have quite a few that say Allah is the one that's astonished. Allah is the one that's all these purple, right? That say that Allah was astonished. Quite a few of them. Not, not as much as the Muhammad one, but, you know, it's it's a lot now. Here's yeah, also something, here's also something that's important because <clears throat> this is how Ajep Ajep two, where it says that Allah is the one that's astonished. This is how mm. Ali and Ibn Abbas used to say it. They used to say it this way. Not not Allah the was that Allah was astonished. They used to mm. say Ajep two. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you but, and you find this in, in, in you know my point of view, I would say that judging how you would use you know the maximum votes on you know 22 over 42, I would say in this, you know, in this notion or in this context, we're gonna use you know logic. <laughs> logic, because we know that Allah can't be amazed about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like he's God, he's the creator of all things, he cannot be amazed because he already knows what's going to happen. So I'm going to say that we're going to use that as, you know, uh, a mediator or a way to figure out which one we're going to, you know, decide on. Yes, but you, you see, you're, 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 right? yeah, but you're, so you're, the only reason why you're picking one over the other is a theological issue. You're saying, I disagree with this text theologically, so therefore I'm going to go with the one that more aligns with me theologically. Well, I mean, that's that's not how I'm doing. It. That's not what I did. With what I did is I went with the text. Really? We have we have one only one manuscript that has that copious error, while the rest are consistent. That's what I was going with. But here it's different because you have multiple multiple Qurans that say either or, you know. And here's here's the important yeah. part. You have what is called the seven canonical readings, right? There's really two, there's 10, but then there's seven that are like, you know, super, super legit. Yeah. Okay. And so the Caliph, the Caliph Quran right here is one of the seven. That's one of the seven. That's one of the canonical readings. And so, and also this one, um, Kasai, this one is also one of the seven canonical readings. So according to Islamic tradition, these Qurans are just as, you know, authoritative as the Hafs Quran and the Warsh. Because these are Hafs, that's also one of the seven. And this one is also one of the seven. And uh, Warsh is also one of the seven. So okay. that's what I'm saying. Like you have, you, you really don't have you really don't have a way to say which one is right and which one is wrong because they are, they're all equally authoritative. For us, we don't but, have but that type do. of thing. You do. Can let me, let me just ask you from a neutral point of view, as a Christian, can God be amazed? Not, not in a way that, you know, that humans are, you know, that, that he didn't know what was about to happen. I would say that it, it's, it's, it could be figurative, like it's a figurative application to God, but it's not not literal. That's what that's what I would say. And and that's why we're gonna take you know the definition to make sense to you know more people. 
Because if you if you go around telling people that okay, Allah was surprised, people don't have you know the logics. I'm I'm not I'm not dissing nobody, but I'm like, some people gonna understand and take it in a different way, different mm-hmm. sense, and say yeah. okay, Islam says that you know Allah can be shot, so it means that Allah can also lie. Allah can do this and this and that. You know you're gonna use that simple point and create a lot of you know arguments and then we call it a contradiction, but when using logic, you know that Allah cannot be amazed. So that's why I'm using this, you know, this basis as my point. What do you think about that? that? That's fine. So you would you would say that at least two of the canonical readings of the Quran, the two canonical Qurans, are are yeah. false. The one and and even the ones that Ibn Ibn like think of it. Ibn you know who Ibn Abbas is, right? Uh, I've heard the name a lot of times, but I don't. Bro, know. Ibn, Ibn Abbas, Ibn Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. He's the cousin okay. of Muhammad, and Muhammad prayed that Allah would give him the wisdom of the Quran, that he would have the hikmah, the wisdom of the Quran. They also call him the ink of the Ummah. That's how that's how important and high up Ibn Abbas is. Wow. So he used to he used to use the one that said that Allah was surprised. Okay. Okay. So if if you bring this particular, you know, argument to the table, now I'm forced to make a whole, you know, reverse from the original, you know. Yes. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, right? I'm forced to make a whole reverse from you the gotta rethink that I have. Exactly. Uh-huh. You gotta that, rethink you gotta rethink your so approach. That, you gotta change that, your approach. That, yeah, that's one problem with me. I'm I'm not quite, you know, educated on you know a lot of things, so I usually make a whole lot of mistakes. But I'm also, you know, prone, you know, possibilities. I also like learning about new things, you know, finding out what, what we're actually talking about. Yeah. That that's that's how I am. So since you've mentioned it, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do my research. I'm gonna do of a course. whole lot of research in this. Of course. And of course. hopefully come back, you know, later on with what I find out about, you know, what you talked about. I but, hey, I, I'm live say. all the time. I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Those are my consistent days that I'm live. Today is just one of those random days that I just decided to go live. So on Tuesdays or Thursdays, or even on the weekend, I might go live. It's not guaranteed, but I'm guaranteed to go live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you want to come back, and I, I, I would definitely welcome you, man, because you're you're honest. Like people like you, I can talk to for hours because you're honest. You're you know you can see it, and you you don't you don't you're you don't you know you're not playing games. We can actually have a real conversation. So I, I appreciate that. Like there's been a few guests today. That I'm that are honest. It's been a good day today, really. It's been a good day. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good day. Yeah, uh, you should have been here yesterday. Yesterday was terrible, and the day before. Oh that. my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, well, thank thank you very much for you know having me and you know today has made me you know learn a whole you know a lot of things about you know my religion. I very much like to because most of the times. Uh, when when I see you know videos like this, I see a whole lot of you know Christians, this and Muslims are telling us, you know, you're gonna go hell, you're gonna do this, and I have a whole lot of questions. But I see that you know when you come on live stream, you mostly focus on you know one one point. You don't like deviate, you know, going off topic or something like that. So I had a right. whole lot of questions today, but I decided to you know respect you, you know, uh, how you, how you move, with, you know, the things. So, so what, 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 what's going to be your, you know, your next topic for discussion next time you come live? I'll, I'll, you have me? I'll tell you what. Yeah. Next time you can bring the subject, and I'll talk about whatever you wanted to ask. Since you you've proved to really? me that you can be sincere and genuine, so now I can okay. I can trust that if I, I if I if you have questions, I can give you answers to the best of my ability, and you know we'll we'll go from there. But yeah, so next time. Thank you. Even if I'll, because I'll have a topic, I'll have a general topic. But if it's you, if I see this, it's it's you. You can come and you can ask whatever you want, and we'll we'll break some stuff down.
I'm I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful a lot because you know a whole lot of Muslims I've had, you know, back and forth. Muslims, you know, Christians on the internet, and most of them just, you know, you ask them a question and it just turns into a whole touchy subject. They end up, you know, coming back telling you are ignorant. You don't see this. You don't see that. Just end up dissing you. You don't even get no answers in the end. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. Uh, that that's why you know I decided to come live today so you know we can have a honest conversation. Perfect. Because I've had I've seen videos I've seen videos of you you know in in you know different contexts you know different attitudes you know angry people so I wanted to know what 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 is the real or who is the real Avery that I've been hearing so much about. Um, well, yeah. Well, well, well what I'm you really, see is I'm what. Really, you, yeah, what what you see is the I'm real Avery, that. just depending on the context. If there's somebody that irritates me and and is being dishonest or rude, or something like that, you know, you know they might get a certain energy. But if you come respectful, because I'm, I'm a chill dude, dude. I'm I'm a chill, patient dude. I'm, I'm chill. So as long as you come respectful, it's gonna stay. It'll be like this. Every conversation will be like this as long as the other person's also respectful back to me. Okay. Okay. So thank you once again very much for having me. And I hopefully would like to come on, you know, next time I see you having the live stream. For sure. All right, my so brother. Take nice care, day. man. Okay, you too, man. All right, peace. Yeah. All right. Ice Master. What a see guys, we're we're doing pretty good today. We're doing that's That's there was only one guest that I, I like that I had to kick, you know, I like just was just like, you know, annoying or whatever. Um, but all the rest of the guests, even Usman, although like I, I stopped the conversation, but he was he was respectful and everything like that. He wasn't he wasn't bad. It's just that, you know, intellectually, we wasn't I don't, I don't feel like he was being intellectually honest. But you know he wasn't a bad guy, just there where there was no continuing in that conversation. But um, the uh, you know everybody, everybody for the most part has been solid. It's been solid. Uh, I'm almost at the three hour mark, so I think that I can cut it here. I think I can go ahead and cut it here. I think that this was a good stream today. What do you guys think? I think I yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. It's been. About three hours. I'm going to go ahead and get some lunch. Yeah. Go ahead and get some lunch. Ah, but it was a good day, man. It was a good day today. I hope that you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys were entertained as well as educated. Hope that you were entertained as well as educated. So uh, Sam is live. He asked you to join him. Why would I join that loser? Why I want to join that loser? But yeah, no, everybody migrate over to Sam's live. Go ahead and go over to Sam's live. He's live right now. So go ahead, join up with Sam's live. Pretty sure he's talking about something boring. So. <laughs> but yes, guys, keep me in your prayers. Uh, we will be live. <laughs> That's right, Isha. We will be live tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's Friday. I will be going out of town, so it will be an early stream because I got to hit the road. So I'm going to be streaming earlier than usual, which is actually good for some of you guys, like the UK folks. It's usually good for you guys. But but yeah, so I'm going to be streaming earlier tomorrow. And uh, uh, yeah, man. That's that's pretty much it. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about yet. Oh, I gotta get work. I gotta get working on that Ali Dawa, uh, that Ali Dawa video. Yeah, so I'm gonna work on that right now. I'm gonna work on that Ali Dawa video and get that up. Uh, have, try to have it up by tomorrow, and hopefully you guys can enjoy that too. We talked about whether or not Jesus is a Muslim. Uh, I talked with him. I talked with the other guy who claims to be a sheikh, and then Adnan Rashid's son, Musa. I learned that he was. Someone told me that that was Adnan Rashid's son. And it was funny because I was looking at him like, man, you look familiar. And he looked just like Adnan Rashid. They got the same face. So, yeah, it was a fun one. It was a fun one. All right, guys, y'all take care. I love each and every one of you. 
Understand that only God in Christianity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the true God, the one who saves and redeems, the one who regenerates, the one who brings back, the one who reconciles. That's him. It's only him. It's only the God of the Bible. And the gospel is true. The gospel is freeing. The gospel is freeing. No intellectual dishonesty, no intellectual turmoil, no spiritual turmoil, no spiritual blindness. The gospel will set you free. I promise. And I can promise that because Christ promised it. Woo! That was good. Wow, that was good. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I'm going to end that. I'm going to end that right there. I'm going to end that right there. Y'all have a good day.